Yo, I want to chill right now. <laughs> You're disrespecting me in a public forum right now. You realize that? Yeah. Okay. That to be the goal of the podcast for somebody to let go of their worries in the world and listen to us. This is my new look, Daddy David. <laughs> da- da- Daddy David. Born to procreate. Born to procreate. Yeah, that, that better make it in the intro. Nah, probably not. What is up, beautiful <laughs> people? Welcome to episode sheesh what episode is it 65 66 <laughs> this should be 66 i think all uh, right depends yeah. on the release order what are we oh, doing here the unboxing life podcast who knows mm-hmm. yeah but we are here we in here and we're not all might but because we're talking about a different anime but we're still here i'm gonna introduce Damn. my main man i'm here with uh i'll pass it off to uh my man Armin was the right choice. What's good, fam? Uh, spoilers ahead. If you guys have not watched Attack on Titan Season 3, <laughs> please click off this video because our names are spoilers and you just got spoiled. Mm-hmm. So, jokes yeah. on you for clicking on this video. But I love you guys. Damn. Right, pause pause true. for one second. I gotta turn Trevor up. Trevor's mad quiet for me for some reason. Alright, Trevor, talk again. Same as you were. Yo, my name is Trevor. I like penis. All right. How are y'all? <laughs> Alright, and that's going into the episode, so who else is here with us, <laughs> Alex? <laughs> right. Yeah, that is my boy. C does C beyond the walls, the most clever of us all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were talking about it's one of my more clever names that it actually flows and works, kind of, anyway. But yeah, I'm mm-hmm. here. Just like yeah. All Might, but like you said, not that anime. Different anime. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And last but not least is Erwin Smith is my dad. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's neat. We, it's like I'm going on uh, Mori. Or he got the paternity test. And it's like he is the father. <laughs> Erwin Smith is David's father. <laughs> yes. That is a fact. Oh, and you have the whole survey corps freaking out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the audience. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to the Unboxing Life podcast, David, Erwin, you are the father. Exactly. Freaking out. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so, dope. We got to get into some. We want to just jump into traditions? Let's do it real quick. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. In no particular order, let's hear the track of hey, the week first. But I can get it out of there quick. My track of the week <laughs> is called... Before Lights Out by, let me get the name right, Hiroyuki Sawano, who I think is a composer who's done music for a lot of anime. Mm, it is the yeah. track playing while, once again, spoilers, the banger of a track playing while Erwin does his last charge and Levi's like going towards the Beast Titan. And Hell yeah. Get, like a female vocalist drop in, just going hard. It's pretty great. Mm. I remember it being pretty hype, so I yeah. believe you. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm not too good at recalling themes. But. Yeah, I, I I typically have to look up and look into the OSTs again when I'm doing these for sure. So the mm-hmm. main theme of like the military in this is like equivalent to Avengers for me. Oh uh, yeah, pretty fucking great. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot yeah. of great music. Yeah, good shit. Cool. True. Nice. nice track. Yeah. All right. Who next? See beyond the walls. I want to hear that fact. Hey. So y'all have heard of the walls, uh, Cena, Maria, and Frick. Cena and, and Rose. And Rose. I had it in my head and I lost it as I was saying it. Fake but have you heard of the Berlin Wall? <laughs> I, I have. I think you may yeah, have. I played it on Black Ops One. So we got a a, a, a not so subtle wall fact for the for the mm. pod today um yeah. Yeah. that being that the berlin wall came down sooner than planned by mistake when the east germans finally planned to slowly open the border they announced it at a press conference without including any sort of a plan when a reporter asked when it would be opened the party official mistakenly said immediately without delay which caused a rush on the six checkpoints of the i believe there's six checkpoints of the walls which eventually they f- people forced their way through in East Germany and West Germany became, or East Berlin and West Berlin became connected. 
Did they wow. not get shot by the sentry guns? Yeah, we're making a uh, COD Black Ops DLC map reference here. Mm -hmm. And the map uh, sucks. no, no, they did not get shot by the sentry guns. I wouldn't That's be surprised fair. if there were some sort of casualties, given the way that was but it didn't appear that there was so a bunch i don't of know tripping over each other. Mm -hmm. anyway yeah 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 that's how that yeah, is that is, that's pretty wild sheesh by accident leave me mm -hmm. last alex do, do you joke i got you i got you i'll do my joke so this one is from the reddit user astro smash 77 so shout out to you nice nice but but uh sure, but David. i'll tell you Astro mm. Smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Astro Smash. David with the Astro World shirt on. We're yeah. just, I see him. I see him. We're just rappers out here right now. We are just bars mm. on bars. We are rappers out here. <laughs> bars on bars for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So my parents was talking the other day about they wanted, they wanted to look into buying a telescope. Mm. Okay. Okay. I told them I'd look into it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, you know, it. you got to find the right prices and everything, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> subtle, subtle. That's funny. I like That's it. Good. Dang. That's good. I love the one-liners. Cool. The the like, just mm -hmm. set up delivery. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you have to be careful because some of them are, the setup is so forced. Yeah, of course. Right. Of course, you got to do it right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Some more than yeah. others, though, but... <laughs> I'm gonna pass it to my man Are Trevor me? over there. Oh, okay. So you see over there? See that? I do. Right there? The, the Call of Duty poster. Right there. Yeah. If we kill that man over there, will we be set free? <laughs> God. Nice. That's who they were talking about. Yeah, the guy with the the fucking deagle. The Call of no, Duty I, guy. I, from I the, from from the, the very last yeah. line of uh, season three. If we mm. kill them all, does that mean we'll be set free? That's a good quote. Yeah, that's uh, tough. It, it so let's hard. let's hope that inspires you to destroy your enemies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, destroy your enemies. Whether it, just don't kill people. Like just, <laughs> destroy your inner demons. You know, right? Become you better go. people. Don't kill people. There we go. Exactly. Now we're now we're swinging it well. Exactly. All right. Nice. We want to go right into the the, the opening. Yeah, yeah, how the, do we feel about this? A huge juxtaposition from each other. Like exactly, uh -huh. very somber, very mm -hmm. like just looking back on life. The other one is incredibly hype, and it starts with a fucking nuke. With the, like, <laughs> exactly, yeah. couldn't be more I, different. I always skipped it, but every time I like right when I get my controller, like three seconds will pass, and you see the mushroom cloud coming. It's just like, I know. Earth hold just fucking <laughs> wreck the city again. But yeah. For the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. I like I the think... second track a lot. Mm, me yeah. too. Nice. I'm glad. It's uh the, the, the first one. Uh, the ending. I don't. Maybe if you'd have to listen to it again, David. But it kind of it reminds me of like an M Shadows like. Um. What do you call it? Fuck. Mm. Like, like just a run, like an M Shadows run. That, oh. That, wow. His vocal delivery kind of reminded me of like an Avenged Sevenfold track, which I also dig. That's cool. I never picked up on that. Maybe I would like it more uh, with that because uh, uh, this show I think has consistently some of my favorite openings. They're just really consistently good out of any anime I've seen. But right. I think Red Swan is the only one I don't like. The first one of season three. I'm not a fan, really. It's not bad, um, but it's just the fact that there's no energy to it at all, and the rest of them are so yeah. have so much energy. That's... The vocals are soaring, though. Yeah, you're it's, right. I, I, I like it's them. it's a nice yeah. enough song. I don't want it as an Attack on Titan intro. I don't. Yeah. I don't. It's, I, it, it's, it, it's boring as hell. You got like Levi coming out boring. slicing throats and like all this stuff, and then like, um, and then you're like, next episode, next episode, and you watch that, and you're just like, okay, I'm very calm again. It's so, like I, yeah. I just don't. It doesn't carry the way that the rest of them do, um, yeah, especially you know yeah. season one. And then I think I can't, I can't get past the fact that the the second intro for this season, so the back half of the season sounds so much like the, the very, very first mm -hmm. one that mm -hmm. it feels like yeah. they were trying to you know yeah like light, lightning in a bottle like recapture the same thing and it just doesn't come close in my opinion 
Um, oh wow! Yeah. So interesting. It definitely comes. I'm with there. you on that. I I actually grew to like the first intro a lot, mainly mm-hmm. the prominent piano melody that is played okay. throughout. I grew Very I grew simple. to like that. Yeah, because then I I think it's meant to make you feel the emotion of them growing up and yeah. Oh yeah, I mean like the, the they are. So with the first like 50 seconds of it, it's just like centered yeah. on them and different shots of them. So I get what you're saying. It's not you don't want it as an Attack on Titan intro, but I feel like they try to do something bold and, and yeah. it, it, it's cool. It's I, I I respect the the move and it it makes sense kind of with the tone of them finding out stuff and like you said touching on their childhood and like even like Irwin's childhood and Levi's and stuff. So yep. Yep. I get you on that. I wish I liked it more. I guess, but. I the second one it. spoils the shit out of like basically <laughs> that entire fight of taking. Uh, yeah, it's like the first four really episodes. Like... It's like the first four episodes of the. the I want to say like ten that that intro is over. Yeah. That that like are encapsulated in the intro of the the plot of the, especially that's what I was gonna say was like the Thunder Spears I think is like their coolest piece of tech that we've seen since you know being introduced to the ODM gear right off the bat. And so now you have these really cool new explosive weapons that are insanely effective and, you know, especially against the Armored Titan. And, like, before you even concept... Because they do such a good job of setting that up and being like, yo, we developed this super special weapon for the Armored Titan. But before you even get that moment, like, a couple episodes into where that intro starts playing, you see them using them and then, like, seven of them sticking out of the Armored Titan's neck and all this stuff. And it's just like... what. Why I don't want to it see that before that. I see like it ruins a lot of the surprise of how cool that tech ends up being. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. It also shows Levi just going straight for the beast side and like yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a yeah. split second. It's like a, an eighth of a second, but yeah, it's, where it's just like all right, man. It's like, like yeah, I didn't even catch that when I watched it, which I was, I watched it quite a few times. But it's like if you yeah, especially if you look back on it, it's yeah. a bit much for sure. You know, I'm a fan of this it song. Makes me wonder what they do when they go into like how they make these openings. They're just like, well, we put all the budget into the season. What do we want to do? And they're like, Leia, take this part and we'll put this part in. We'll cut it in. I don't know. That it, be, it, yeah. it rung especially true with that intro because yeah. it was nothing but clips from the actual show. Like it was right. him punching the shit out of uh, Reiner. It was him, you know, tracking down the Beast Titan. That, that was like the whole show. Yeah. Was, yeah. Like, and that, that's true. The the one for the first half is the opposite. It's it's all, you know, original scenes, like you said, of them being kids and stuff. And I do I you know, I I don't like it as a you know, an intro for when you're trying to go episode to episode, but in and of itself, like I said, it's a fine song. And I do like a lot of the visuals, especially like young Aaron running around and like trying to get the attention of like I say mm-hmm. adult, but he's like fifteen in the season. Um like yeah, older yeah. Aaron, basically. And Aaron's just like fixed on the skyline and like can't see his past self. Basically, is a lot of you could write a whole, um, you know, couple paragraphs on a, on a bullshit English paper for that scene alone. But and I just realized um, that like they're they're showing him looking out to the sea, like in that yeah, where he's got the crystal uh, yeah. blue sky and there's yep. not you can't see the ground. They do it on purpose because they don't want to spoil the rest of the show. But that's true. Yeah, yeah. so it's a nice little touch for sure. Yeah, so that's all, all I right. got. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, the season I mean, starts out with a bang, though. We start yeah. off. Yeah, we we start off with them out in that cabin, and um, we start off with the experiments, which I like. They're super freaking hilarious because, like, uh, Aaron's trying to master the hardening. And he's failing over and over again, and Hanji's like freaking out every time. And there's that one scene where she pulls him out of the Titan, and half his face is like ripped off. And Mikasa's like, "Oh my god, he's gonna die!" And Hanji's like, "Sketch his face, sketch his face, like get yeah. it, get him in time." And so like mm-hmm. her 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 mad scientist like antics just get me every freaking time. They're so great. Yeah, yeah. Um, she is great. I, we were I was watching this with my sister, like showing it to her for the first time, and she. Said I don't know if you guys ever watched Magic School Bus, but she said Hanji reminds her of <laughs> Miss Frizzle. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's, like, that's hilarious. Yeah. That was pretty, that pretty crazy. Very crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love it. She's a great character. That's you got a lot of screen time this, this season as well. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm I was glad. appreciative of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool. Uh, I mean, like you said, it's kind of a bang. They, this show does not like to freaking play around at the opening of the season. It's like. This is what's gonna happen now, yeah. like this season. This is, this is when Kenny goes after Levi and them, right? Yeah, they right. immediately become yeah. enemies Levi of the state. Like, oh my lord! 
Yeah. That, that entire like bit with Levi just swinging through the city, just absolutely Ugh. wrecking kids. And those those hand cannons were cool as shit. Uh, yeah, incredibly ineffective, like in terms of <laughs> ammo, but like they. Yeah, I, yeah. I enjoyed the mechanic of them. Yeah, so they're still kind of they're not barbarian with their tech, but they're they're very behind. Like they mm -hmm. don't have automatic weapons. They're still using swords against titans. You know, they're still using cannons and all that. Mm -hmm. So yep. It's like a step up for them. And like, it's, yeah. li it's a literal hand cannon. Ne necessity is the mother yeah. of invention, right? So they invented this disgusting ODM like gear that makes you move around incredibly, and they have those really firm swords and stuff like that because all they need to fight is titans. So they don't have any sort of developed, like, there's no skill tree of anti personnel weapons because they haven't had to develop them for the last hundred years. So they kind yeah. of have guns, you know, just for keeping the peace and stuff like that. And then they developed, you know, th those are like handheld shotguns. They're like blunderbusses, basically, right? Um, that mm -hmm. they developed just to, because they go later on in the season and talk about how the anti personnel squad is basically just mounting up to be to be able to fight the scouts when they want. And they figure that they piece that together immediately. That is like these weapons, this ODM gear is like meant to counter our stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that scene with Levi, I think is one of my favorite scenes in d definitely one of my favorite scenes in the show. Probably one of my favorite scenes in anime altogether when he's like, after Kenny sneaks up behind him and he's, he just starts whipping through the sh streets mm -hmm. and the, and the camera angles they use the absolute speed. Like it looks like it's moving. It looks like it's not like, you know, super choppy like you would expect oh, yeah. that much movement to be it's so fluid it's so gorgeous the sound engineering is top tier so yeah that's that scene is amazing it's absolutely it's insane they just had a, they just go hard for no i mean not really for no reason <laughs> but you're just i don't i i i'm never expecting the animation to be that good like that fast and it's just like oh my god <laughs> yeah, levi is when when they draw him determined it's like it's on a whole nother level of sexy, bro. Uh, like, true. Yeah, that man is so good looking, dude. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, uh, I true. I understand all the brows. all the Levi simps. It makes a lot of sense. That's that's a dangerous man. <laughs> he's got a yeah. he's got a beautiful profile shot too. Like ah, <laughs> like even when he's covered in blood, you're just like, whoo. Yeah, sure. <laughs> good guy. Yeah. Exactly for sure. Because then even then he's he's steaming. He's literally steaming. <laughs> it's like. Oh, yes. frick. Mm -hmm. yeah, he ain't um, even a Titan. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, in that in that scene, they you know they still just like continue on with allies, just keep on getting smoked. He's like Hanji, lend me three guys, and they just die immediately. Like uh, allies are just like dropping like flies consistently. They never let up with that. It's so mm -hmm. crazy. This was definitely yeah. the uh, the Deathly Hollows episode or season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even more. Yep. They like. Yeah, they played with that theme with like the season one with like the Tross battles and all that, but like this one, when they sh they start kicking then with the retaking of Walmaria, oh my god, yeah, it's just dropping like flies, but very true, yeah, and yeah. I like they uh they set up you know they quickly set up the fact that you know fighting humans is different from Titans, but yep, got to get used to it basically like they have you know Armin has to freaking kill the freaking woman and stuff like that as like at the end of the sequence right when freaking Aaron gets kidnapped again um, again it's a tug of war for it's, sure. <laughs> he's literally yeah. just in the balance at all times that scene <laughs> almost got me but then I re I'm like nah that, that there's something else that happens I think uh Gene was supposed to be the one that was getting killed right? yes and then yeah because he the hesitates yeah and yeah. Like, mm -hmm. oh why and did I kill her in the front of the carriage yeah, like, yeah, really... saved a comrade and, and they yeah. snap in the, the war mind but yeah, no, I like have... how... yeah, go ahead, David. I just uh, I like how they add a layer of depth to it with the fact that she hesitated. It's not like like he says like she was more human than me because like and that's why he's like he's like I killed her and she was more of a human because I shot her before she would and like she was hesitating when I wasn't. It's pretty yeah. interesting. The fact that it has to be Armin who's like usually such a sweet boy. Yeah, Armin's cool. whole thing is is yeah. his humanity, right? His, you know, inability to take lives in a lot of time and, and to, you know, do that to people. Um, but yeah, they have, you know, it's it's fantastic character growth and development and like like consistency of character writing is is another thing that the show excels at a lot of the time where like mm -hmm. Levi like you were saying they set up the idea that they have to kill humans and Levi like says that to them he's like if you get the chance go for the kill like take the kill and Mikasa is immediately like got it makes sense because a she's Mikasa and b she's already killed a person 
like when she when her and Aaron were kids, they had to kill those guys. So like she's right. already she's already done it. And then you know Jean and Connie and Sasha are all like frick, I, I guess like I like I've never you know even considered killing a person until now, and now you're telling me to do it at the drop of a hat. So it's it's very intense there. And then you know Armin is throwing up, and you'd think like still that he might be you know bent out of shape about John and, and like he asked me cause like did this happen to you like did you get sick and like disgusted with yourself at the at the at taking another human's life and so they really delve into that a lot of like this idea of of taking lives don't doesn't mean anything or taking lives means something at all times to to oh, whoever yeah. is doing it it's it, there's yeah. there's consequences not just the death, but there's emotional consequences and uh, everything else dissipating from that. So, yeah. Yeah, which I always appreciate because when a show will go in that direction and then just not put weight behind it, it's like, <clears throat> it just, it can definitely throw you off. It's like, what is your, what morality are we working on here where we're just like, all right, we're doing this, now we're going to kill people, and now we're doing whatever. Like, it can, yeah. you know, it definitely can reduce the impact of a show if they don't delve into that sometimes. Yeah. In my opinion. Uh, but yeah, they go quickly to freaking torturing people too. So it's a lot. I mean, <laughs> Levi and, and everything kind of got me cringing frick. a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's yeah. Hanji I mean, calling him a pussy for you, know, <laughs> you. They only got you. They only got one of you, and you and you snitched, and I went through all my nails. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, that that was their whole ploy, right? Where they they torture the the one guy to like you know a state of incredible disrepair and he still doesn't break he's like uh, you know i will i will keep the secrets like for the church for the people for humanity for whatever the hell he believes in and then they you know hold a knife to the other guy's back a- outside his cell and he's like you know mm-hmm. and they have him read that paper and it's it's super i mean i think that's a pretty tried and tr- tested like pit pit the two interviewees against each other or the two people being tortured right. more accurately um mm-hmm against each other and and make them make them turn on each other and it works like a freaking charm um that or tell the two interviewees that you call them uh two different stories and Mm -hmm. see which one's lying see which one right yeah it's a story yeah yeah for sure make breaks yep Uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy to me how they have such a unwilling like the dude had such an unwillingness to tell he's like like cameron said for this for the good of the humanity but like what could possibly be so strong that like everything happening and stuff that you just like what you know i can't know you know yeah why how is that protecting me there's people literally being prosecuted hunted down kidnapped tortured like you and -hmm. you're claiming it's good for the humanity right i mean he's he's strong to his convictions because he's, he's getting he's all the way down but it's still nuts to me that concept yeah, it's a lot of strong convictions in the show when they oh, freaking yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I think what was I gonna? Mm, I completely forget. But yeah, mm. but that's oh, I was, they because they tie that in with how when they uh, torture Pastor Nick and I think Levi says like how many fingernails did he have and he's like if if they take more than one then like you didn't like if you don't talk after one you're not gonna talk basically. Yeah, which is interesting that he has that experience already. And they, it's kind of like on both sides, they have people with crazy convictions. And I think they even mentioned like, we're killing them not because they want to eat us, but because they believe something different than us. So that's mm-hmm. a whole different dynamic in itself. It's wild. Yeah, it's <clears> not, <throat> it, it's no longer that violence begets violence. This is now politics. This is belief systems. This is like, we, we think we're doing the right thing more than we think they're doing their version of what the right thing is. So it's yeah. like both sides believe there's in the right. It's not just monsters coming to eat you anymore. It's it's like a fight against humans for an ideology. And so that's that's what you just said is like now the the show has completely turned on its head again. Now not only mm-hmm. are there people outside the walls like th- th- there's things coming for us that that are being sent by something. It's not just random monsters. It's actually they're actually coming from somewhere and they're intelligent and all this stuff. And then not only that, but our entire government is working against us as well with this whole conspiracy yeah. and for what reason. Um, but yeah, that's the yeah. information they get out of him is that the true 
royal family line is Historia, that old dude that's sitting in the throne in all of those meetings is just a, a complete puppet. The, there's that one scene where it's later on down the line, but they kick his chair, and he's like, oh, is it time for lunch yet? <laughs> and know, yeah. like, that was just... when they did the coup. Yeah, right. finally, yeah. <clears throat> I dude, like the entire time when they show him, every time where he's just like this, and he kind of looks like he's just uh, slumped. Snoke. Yeah, he kind of looks like Snoke a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize he was asleep. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no, that he's not like, supposed to look like asleep. He's got eyes that are like he's got open eyes, but I guess not. I have to re- <laughs> I have to go back to some of those scenes, but he's like yeah. dead ass asleep the whole time. It's like they almost pull a, a little like switcheroo or something. It's like, oh, he's some sort of like calm freaking dude who's just thinking about stuff. And yeah, it's like right. not here to sleep. Like, yep. All right, dang. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little literal puppet on a throne, except he doesn't even talk at all. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um. It's, you know, we get Historia's whole backstory, which you know, fucking brutal ass scene. That's where Kenny's dirty work is is getting put in. Um, and the, the, like your final, your mother's final words before she gets her slit throat slit in front of you being, if only I never had you. Ooh, yeah. that's tough. <laughs> what are you like? Six years old, eight years old or something she is. And she's just like, yeah. Oh man, that is, that's a, that's a thing to go through. That's for sure. She was so, she was so emotionally deprived that the first like, like touch of her mother was a shove and yeah. a mm-hmm. flip down in the grass. And she's like, Oh, this makes me happy. She finally paid she attention to me. me. Yeah. 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 And that's a that's a like a real psychological phenomenon that like children with abusive parents um experience too is like that the abuse then becomes affection in their minds. Like the wires get crossed basically where it's like, you know, at least they're paying attention to me cuz of the way we are our our psychology is just that way where we need like human connection. And so if the abuse is the only thing you get, then it becomes ridiculous so it's yeah they you know the way they adhere to stuff like that and make it almost relatable and inter- and still very interesting is super cool yeah for sure and it's they you know it's with a character consistency too they're, they're gonna pay that off pretty soon with her i feel like the, her past like bad connections and then like her father like finally coming into her life just to be a manipulator is also yep. Like, it adds to the tragedy of it in a way. And, like, the decision she has to make. That's pretty big. Yeah, right. um, Absolutely. Her dad looks like a thumb with eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rod, I always dude. hated the way she looks. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't like the way he, he looks, man. Yeah. I really see. big eyes and he a does... small face and his pudgy body. Yeah, he does not have a likable... Uh, not to mention he's a prick. Physicality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, he's like, it's not great. Prick. It's um, one of the more uh, unnuanced pricks he, of the show. It's we, just like, yeah, you're trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's no like, redeeming qualities of him. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, his, we'll get there soon, but, you know, his his Titan isn't much better looking. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That um, is for a fact. But yeah, um, now at that point we're at the coup, um, where yeah. that's like a really cool plan. I mean, Erwin and obviously Pixis is involved there as well, but it's just like, like, all the convoluted shit they do that plays out perfectly, like, it begins to get a little, like, you know, maybe this shouldn't... It, it, it starts to feel easy, but then they explain it to where, like, we played our cards, like, freaking perfectly, so then I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is fine. Mm-hmm. It's like, because, obviously, what I've talked about the last two episodes as well is that there are so many moments where it, it could have gone to plan, and they just get freaking smoked. So, yeah, exactly. they, they earn their yeah. victories, I still feel like, even though it is, like... Oh wow, this went so perfect. Um, but they they earn it. They do it well. So yeah, yeah, exactly. When they fake yeah, the I was, I was the breach of the walls, didn't get, he didn't get a uh, sentence to death. But right, I yeah, that would have been like so unceremonious. Yeah, they had. A, I think uh, they were just glad to. <laughs> false alarm to show their true colors. Yeah. No, we, no we're good. There's no Titans in the walls, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah just... dude, that whoever was talking that like was just like, yo, don't, 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 don't rescue them, don't put them, don't open the walls. He needs to be fed to the dogs, like, uh, Aaron, to the dad yeah, sister, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 too. exactly, yeah. yeah, it's pretty great. I'm, I'm glad they get a get a solid freaking W, just overthrow. I think the first time I was like, oh, this happened so quick, but 
Not really. I, I, I will say as a general thing on this season, I hated the first half, the first time I watched this. And I think there was mm-hmm. a long break and there was a lot of plot points that I didn't remember. So it didn't connect like and there's because they put a lot on you. I feel like in this season. Where yes, it's like, absolutely. Yeah, this, it's a lot. It's the, the reason know. why I'm, I'm foggy on the first half. Yeah, for sure. I definitely. Yeah, they like people are related. This is the origin of this. And here's the bloodline and stuff. So I just mm-hmm. I completely was not getting it the first time. But I'm a, a much bigger fan now. And I feel like it's paced better and I understand it better. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. And especially things like the the scene in the cave where, you know, Grisha takes the founding Titan, which we get to that. Like they show that flashback in like bits and pieces and then more bits and pieces and then fully and then bits and pieces again, like throughout the season is like they the flashbacks that they show and like the way they trickle the information, which is a phrase I keep on saying is like mm. it, it 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 gets a little frustrating, even though it's cinematically well done, in my opinion. But it's, you know, um, I, I, yeah. I, I, I definitely see what you mean, basically, is what I'm saying, especially because you're right. If you were watching this as it came out week by week trying to piece all this together without binging it would be tough. Um, yeah. yeah. I honestly feel like it would be easier if I watched it week by week. Well, yeah, there's that too. If you're just inundated with information. Yeah. I guess it was just, if it was the only thing I'm watching, it. I can't like, I watched seven episodes yesterday, which is like a record for me, <laughs> but um, <laughs> nice. it, it was just so fucking much. And luckily it was just action. You know, I didn't have to process a, a too much, but, if I was mm-hmm. binging, I was only watching those like three episodes at a time the first half. And mm-hmm. I just, I, I was so lost with the whole like, oh, it has to be a royal bloodline that eats the Titan. And then it ends up like you're following the, the first Titan's beliefs. And then, oh, but you can, mm-hmm. you might be able to control it if you're not a found, like but if you're, if you're connected this way and this way. And it's just like, yeah, what the fuck is happening? That's, that's I, something. Yeah. So I was totally lost the first half of the season. That, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's definitely something that I felt it leaves to be desired in a way is like Mm -hmm. they they explain things almost without explaining it right so it's like you know like trevor said royal bloodline titan spinal fluid like this that and the other thing like they explain like this is how this happens but they don't explain like the actual science behind it or anything like that because now we're just saying like okay there are races of people that are actually like biologically different even though they are on a Mm -hmm. like when you look at them, they look just the same as normal people, but they actually are biologically different somehow. And then we don't even know if that's necessarily the truth or what's happening with, you know, what we learned in the last few episodes is what's going outside the wall, going on outside the walls mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, it's like telling someone, you know, if you flip a light switch, the light will turn on and off, but you don't explain to them, you know, this is what electricity is. There's wires in the walls, like all this stuff is what I feel like it's like. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's I a still want to know more, but like I'm good with what I got, I guess. Yeah, I'm with you. I feel like that's a, a slight flaw as is putting so much and then not explaining a lot of it. And some of it is just like totally out of, you know, uh, or like left field in a way, which is like, OK, if they go on to explain it, I guess it, it remedies it for the most part. But it's it's, you know, it's a bit of like, OK, he can do this. He can do this with memories and the spinal yeah. fluid and whatever. But. Yeah, that's a bit of a flaw, but yeah, it does ask you to take a bit for granted. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there you go. But uh, um, overall, Trevor, you were saying that that guy should be fed to the Titans. Um, do you remember the actual punishment he got? Oh gosh, um, it's he got the the Wu Tang treatment. <laughs> yeah, he did. Honestly, I'm gonna keep feeding remember. you and feeding you. I really don't remember. So Premier Zachary <laughs> has like this weird ass sadistic streak that comes out of fucking nowhere where he like sets them up in like these scanty outfits that they don't fully show on screen, hooks them upside down to these torture devices oh, yeah. and then feeds them like backward or like feeds them through their mouths. So they like shit upwards and have to like defecate all over themselves gonna, is like yeah, it's it's just taunt them all over town yeah kind of reminded yeah. me of the French Revolution there's a there's right. they they reference it again like much later on and they're like Premier Zachary is like we should be carting them around and it's like dude if we do that like people already hate the military what do you think they're gonna do if they see this like this is awful <laughs> yeah. like we're letting you do this because you have power and you're crazy and because fuck those guys but like we can't just 
cart this around like a circus sideshow. It's not going to happen. Like, next thing mm-hmm. you know, they're covering them with hot tar and putting white feathers on them. So. Yeah. Honestly, that yeah. sounds better than the fate they got. So <laughs> it's, um, it's wild. It comes out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's that's when we get to uh, you know the battle in the cave, um, you know oh, yeah. the 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 climax of the this kidnapping arc. What what number are we on now? Um, yeah. And so yeah, and so I, he's it's, all it's a, like it's like uh, atmosphere wherever they're at the cave kind of reminds me of the season four of My Hero the uh, locale as well. I oh. don't want to spoil it, but no, okay. No, oh, I get that. I get that. Yeah. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. The ice cavern and all that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not all yeah, the numerous yeah. pillars and everywhere, but just the actual look and feel of it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's a cool thing. I, I was getting a lot of Cowboy Bebop vibes, honestly, with the mm. uh, anti personnel squad, with the the Western feel, with the Kenny kind of <laughs> giving me bike vibes and, you know, the hey. pistol toting motherfuckers and all that good <laughs> shit. Constantly flying around and the. Yep. This was it was a really cool fight, like the whatever mm. episode this was when they're just flying around and throwing smoke bombs and yeah, they just go all out. Like it, it sure. was almost like a paintball match. They were just like letting them have it, but people yeah. were dying. Like it's, yeah, all right. Is another thing that's really cool about the show is they set up every battle with like, okay, this is our advantages, this is our disadvantages. How do we approach this and actually win somehow? And so you know they mm. pour the smoke down the stairs and they blow up the cartridges and they're using the like the in? the signal flares inside, yeah, and all that stuff. And so they use that to close distance. And then you know those those fights where they're just whipping around and Levi Levi was I mean in the streets um, at at the beginning and then in this they they do that thing over and over again where they grapple onto a person and pull themselves towards and like just slice and dice and it's so clean every time. Um, and yeah, just the movement around in the in the cave. It, it, it's honestly, I'm really glad that the show moved this way just to see ODM gear versus ODM gear, because like it it opens up so much like combat possibility of like when it's just ODM gear versus Titans, then it's it's just that. But the the you know we're playing 4D it's chess instead of, of 3D now. So it's yeah, dance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, totally different type of fight. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's, a, it, it's a great action. Kind of like boxing in a way. Yeah, and it, it keeps it absolute. It's absolute chaos where someone can just get smoked out of left field, like Hanji almost does. So it's um. Yeah, she yeah. takes one hell of a tumble. Yeah, loses her yeah. eye and all that good shit. Yeah, and the scene, pirate. the scene where Levi That's almost it. almost gets Kenny, where he blows up the 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 the, the like gunpowder barrel in midair, and then Levi comes through the fire, like attached to him, and slices yeah. through him, and just like barely doesn't get. I mean, he eventually dies from that and wound. And then Kenny just like swings away, like you'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like I was so pissed just, off at that. Yeah. He literally slices his stomach. Like, fam, that's like a, a a seven foot long blade, and he slices him right through the stomach. He's like, you'll never catch me. <laughs> yeah, and we've and we've watched watched <laughs> Levi. <laughs> And we've watched yeah. Levi for the last two seasons, like make mincemeat of like Titans, and then, you know. see homie just like clutching his stomach, like man, <laughs> yeah. your fucking organs are bleaking, like <laughs> yeah, you are yeah. bleaking, bleaking at it, <laughs> be leaking. That is very true. Beyond leaking, yeah. beyond Bleak. leaking. Yeah, he, and then he goes back and he's like, "Hey, what's going on here?" And like, you know, yeah, me, just all pissed, like, dang. And uh, you yeah, get, he's just there for the all- show. Right, and so yeah. he's like, he's then he's not gonna, gonna he's not gonna actually enact his like anyone else's will. He's just like there kicking back, and uh, yeah. what? So Historia, you know, goes through she her moment. Re- she doesn't realize what she's doing. She just she has a gut feeling that she that what she's about to do is wrong. Mm-hmm. So she chooses not to yeah. use the serum, but yeah, it's a is... god tier move. Because mm-hmm. she would have been succumbed to the first Titan's beliefs and tried to w- wipe out humanity. Yeah, we would have just serum. we'd have just been back so at she, square one. Yeah, yeah, it was just a boss mm-hmm. fucking move that she did. Yep, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 The human film. Yeah. <laughs> the human it's like, thumb. what are you doing? Eat me! Yeah. Like he was so ready to die for humanity, and and she's like, "Fam, I love you." Like, <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, because Aaron is still <laughs> on his about. Aaron is still on his like I'm useless trip where that's yeah. like i mean we're we're pretty immediately after i mean he did the coordinate and everything but that's you know a small victory considering how many people died to get him back and all that stuff and now he's kidnapped again 
and so all this shit and so he's like just fucking eat me just let my life be over just like you know clearly y'all know something i don't just fucking kill me already and he also mm-hmm. he also gets the you know gets the revelation about his dad killing the royal family yeah. he's like i'm yeah. not even the one who should have it like he's, that's very important I, yeah it's very earned why he's like that but he's I like how he's super emo, and then the rest of them are like, just stand the frick up. Like, you're, you're frick off. Like, you're yeah, being a woods. Like, dude, even Connie, especially was John. So I'm like, yo, you're such a pussy, bro. We've been through so much <laughs> worse than this. Like, we're just going to get out of this cavern. Yeah. I thought that was yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's, so out of con- it's so out of character for them. They're always like so supportive and like either scared out of their minds or supportive. And, yeah. and they were none of those. They were just I, confident. I mean, that like, is supportive. Like, Fuck up. In that, yeah, in that scenario. Like, no, you know. for sure. But yeah, yeah. Uh, just them being mm-hmm. pricks to him is like, it's a, it's a new ground for it, which is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel like they build on the, uh, they just keep building on the characters and you love to see it. I, I really like the moment with the story. Like we were talking about, I like how, you know, she's like, I, it, it would have been really tough if like she made the other decision. Cause he's like, you know, you can be a God. Like, and it's like, right. Oh really? Are Titans really gods now? Like, and like, Oh, we're yeah. going to do something crazy. And it's like, and then she's just like, you know, talking about freaking mm-hmm. God. Like, you're just manipulating me, you freaking coward. Like, frick mm-hmm. off. And it's like, that it hits hard. And she, you know, great. Uh, I, I, I tried to, like, set it up earlier how she has the no human connection. It's kind of like, she never got it from her family. She thinks she might get it from her family with her dad. And then she's like, literally, I will never get any kind of human connection from my real family. But she has the scouts, I feel like. And she, like, yep. she has some actual... Mm-hmm. Yes, her chosen family, her people. She actually has a connection to, and it's you know he loved to see it. Well said. Yeah. Great, great I think moment. I think the dude chose his his corniness because as soon as like the serum's on the ground, he's like, I cannot <laughs> waste the serum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, bro, dude, yeah, I, th- corny right now. I thought the <laughs> like for the longest time, I thought the like hyper saturated inverted colors of him like licking the table was just a meme because there were mad memes of like you know when you're when when your thick thigh goddess sits on the on the on a chair or something and then it's like just him licking up like the the sweat or whatever Jeez. Thick thigh. that's gonna get isolated thick somewhere thigh. but whatever it's fine <laughs> That's um, pretty great. Yeah, and so great. that that meme like lived. So it was just that it was just that frame of like the super hyper saturated like orange and red color pa- palette like thing of him licking the fluid off the floor. And so I had yeah. no context for that for the longest time. I didn't even know it was from Attack on Titan. And so I thought it was that. So like the first time I saw that, I was like super into the show and like super intense and like what's gonna happen. And then I just burst out laughing because I was like, this is what this is fucking from. Well, he looks like a complete moron. Yeah, he looks face. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, he's like a groveling prick, mm-hmm. like we've been saying the and entire he time. A yeah, he turned into an even bigger titan. moron. Yeah. He's yeah. a yeah. that has no face by the time he... Uh, he is his way. nasty. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Freaking Aaron. This is, this is building up to like... Like one of the the better arcs, and then the, there's an even better arc after this. But like the very <laughs> right. quick arc of them eliminating him, they eliminate him in like an episode and a half, which is yeah, like, yeah, fantastic. Mm-hmm. I thought they were gonna drag that out, honestly. Yeah, me too. Yeah, which is, yeah. I I'm it's glad so that fun. they kept it short because I really don't give a frick about this dude for I don't him having this airtime. Yeah. yeah, I can appreciate it. They really hit the points they need to hit just quick and just mm-hmm. okay. He's an ugly motherfucker. He's giant. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, just, just the up. wall. Yeah. They have, I mean, they they really they have great moments where they, you know, I like uh, mm-hmm. the uh, there's it's like because it's another one of those districts, I believe. It's like one of those districts that sticks out from the wall or something. It's like uh, yeah, yeah it's oh, it's a northern right. one. Over yeah, like that. and so you have oh, go ahead. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I thought Alex was gonna say something. But oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, yeah. go ahead. No, it's just like I like how it's similar to Shigen Sheena from the like their hometown, and they have all yep. these inexperienced soldiers, but they're like, you know, Aaron again. I think it's Aaron's on his depression stuff still on the top of the wall, mm-hmm. and Armin is like, you know, it's gonna be different this time. He's, He's also on top of the wall. Yeah, he literally he's not a he... on top of the wall is like <laughs> no. about Titan, especially yeah. large Titans. Yeah, yeah they, I mean they actually. <laughs> They actually make a point of it. Like Armin says that. I mean, that's what I was about to say. Is like Aaron on his depression shit, as you said, literally starts punching himself in the face, yeah. like uh, yeah. drawing blood. And Armin's like, "Are you trying to injure yourself? It's too early, you idiot." <laughs> it's like, 
Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, no, he says he gives him the pep talk. He's like, you know, the difference this time is that there are are there are soldiers on top of the wall ready to fight. Like these kids down here that we're looking at don't have to see the same horrors we saw, even though the Titan does end up mounting the wall with like face cross sections in half, like just yeah, glaring at you, disgusting, falling. and then like his guts like fall spilling out over the wall, like it's just nasty shit. It's like what a grotesque image to have to stare at, um, and, and uh, especially to fight. I mean, you know, you're you're a northern soldier. You've been living the sweet life in the garrison. You know, everyone else is fucked, but at least you guys are fine. But now, the biggest <laughs> titan that humanity has ever faced is on your doorstep, and now this is this is what you got to do. Um, mm-hmm. they you imagine somehow, the like, smell? <laughs> no, I cannot. It's yuck. Yeah, Ugh. burning somehow flesh. Somehow walk into like the the perfect titan for this, like him dragging his face made their job that much easier like they're yeah. basically planning like yo we can get his jaw open and we can throw all the gunpowder in and yep. kill it from the from the inside yeah. <laughs> and he really just has the, the front gate open like <laughs> he's he's going, come him. here bro yeah come on come here come on <laughs> here bro yeah they knock him down they they got that real nice moment when they actually execute the plan where uh like uh erwin is just on the wall and he goes erin and Aaron yeah. just sprints out over him with the like the the bag of just straight gunpowder, and it, <laughs> that's a really nice uh, cinematic moment there. Um, for sure, and he, that's sure. that's what they do very very consistently is they explain the plan that they made before as the plan is playing out, so they like cut back and forth, and they're like, "Yep, we're gonna blow his face off from the inside or his neck out from the inside." Um, like you were saying, and so they toss it in, it ignites, and then Aaron's just, like, standing there, staring into the mouth of the thing, and it just blows up in his freaking face. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, then all the, all the chunks of Rod, um, chunks blow, of oh, blow God. off into the air. Um, yeah. Rod, yeah. right, meat. Oh, and then God, that was, dude. that was his story as one condition, for sure, I'll become queen once all this is over, is I have to be part of this fight. Um, yeah, and she yeah. just twirls in midair and just kind of delivers the final blow. Delivers the final blow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty great. Shit. Yeah. yeah, that was the first time she ever killed, and she killed her own father. Very true. Sometimes yeah. you yeah, got that, to. That is hilarious. <laughs> it instilled yeah. a, a great belief in in the people that this mm-hmm. is the, the true heir of the throne, not not a fake one. Yep. Yeah, so, something for the people to believe in. Works out real perfect. Great great yeah great idea very nicely executed yeah for sure you have oh no, i don't you go. I, I, yeah i want to say we don't want to or i don't want to skip over the nice moment with kenny i like uh they basically dedicate um, oh like, yeah, yeah battle a whole for like sure. episode to kenny his backstory levi's backstory and mm-hmm. it's i think it's really great kind of unexpectedly because i wasn't like too attached to kenny other than he's like you know rootin tootin i guess but and levi somehow knows him but exactly you realize he's levi's uncle and uh yep. you know the ackerman bloodline um it's pretty i like uh i like kenny's character a lot actually just basically based off this one episode you see he's like you know both of them i, I believe both of them grew up in the underground area yep so they just had mm-hmm. no no leeway in life completely brutal lives levi is like a one foot freaking ball of of just Dirt. Yeah, one just really yeah really like rough on the brink of death yeah. it's it's you know it's why he's short is because he was terribly malnourished for like the yeah. in, the first several years of his life um, very true and so all that stuff it shows you you know that's it, it does a lot to establish his fighting character like we know levi's a badass we know levi's you know cold and cool and calm and collected and all this stuff but you don't realize like it's because he's been through the worst humanity has to offer its people like utter poverty a starvation fighting day to day to stay alive quite literally mm-hmm. just resorting yeah. to violence at every at every uh turn to to actually be able to survive um for sure yeah and yeah and yeah and it's the uh, Ackermans. It did yeah. trigger in my mind. I was like, there's got to be something weird because they they talk about them both having the same last name and that was before they actually revealed that that was his mom's brother. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. hmm, there's something fishy <laughs> right here. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think because they do, Mikasa has the last name, Kenny has the last name, and then they're like, oh, dang, and then Levi does. And uh, 
That's pretty great. I like Kenny's uh, story with the previous king. I believe it is, or like mm-hmm. the the guy, the the royal. Yeah, he's just. It's very. He's he like his motivation is that he wants to become the titan because the the king has that power and he is compassionate and Kenny has like never learned compassion so he thinks maybe he could see the world from a different perspective if he gets that power. Yep. It's super interesting and kind of beautiful and he doesn't get it like he just his whole life he isn't able to get it but mm. yeah, but also it's very I like it's very cool cuz it's like he showed he actually did show compassion for Levi by taking him in for a mm-hmm. certain amount and like you know helping him to survive and then it's, it's also like i love the line i think it's uh kenny's final words when he gives levi the syringe he's like or, or levi's like why did you leave that day he's like because i i wasn't going to be no father basically he's like yeah i like i care for you but i'm still like i was never like uh built to be i was never set out to be like some like family man father type yeah. like that's just who he is. It's pretty great. It's like I taught you to cut throats. That's good enough. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I don't want to kill you after. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yep. So yep. That's his new life mission. Yep. Yeah. So there. Um. Before we move on from that, there was an interesting uh, moment earlier on. Um. And that's, I think, only in that moment when, um, like he's on his deathbed. Um. Is that the the only time where Kenny finally tells um, Levi that he's his uncle, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like then, 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 and only then do they find out. Does he find out that they're blood related and that he's also an Ackerman? Like, because mm-hmm. he's just gone by Levi this entire time. And there's a scene earlier on where he knows that that um, Kenny's last name is Ackerman, and he knows that Mikasa's last name is Ackerman. And so he re- he talks to after you know Kenny jumps up and they have that whole first encounter with him, um, in which Levi completely balls out. Um, they he talks to Mikasa and he's like, "You guys have the same last name. Did you ever have a moment where you felt like something activated in your mind, like something something happened?" And they flash back to that scene where. Um, where like I talked about before, Mikasa killed a man. Like when they were when she was about to get human trafficked, um, she and Aaron fought back and when Aaron called out for help, they have that whole thing with the lightning in her brain and she like steps on the floorboards so hard she breaks them and like breaks the hilt of the knife and like goes after him. And that's her activation. Um and so it's like something similar happened with um Kenny. So this is like something with the Ackermans, like that they talk about and they talk about later in the season is like the Ackermans have this connection to the royal bloodline. We're not exactly sure what it is, but like because of because of who they are as a family, they've been persecuted. And so, you know, yeah. we're diving into all these all this stuff about like races and genetics and whatever is like who what what's their deal basically is is what it forces you to ask is like what what are the Ackermans um, in and of themselves. Yeah. So it's it's super cool. Um, in that respect, they just keep on leaving little breadcrumbs like that. We still don't have that answer. Um, but yeah, that's there. Pretty um, well. So yeah, the uh, basically, I guess like the last couple episodes of this half are, are just really nice, like uh, catharsis, just relief after all this. You know, they got the. I love the scene where Historia punches Levi. Yes, <laughs> yes, that sir. Was that was like yeah. a genuine like yeah. laugh of, of a. Oh, it's man, so that, funny. That humor is perfect. And then and Levi is like, like he gets thank like you all. yeah the one like genuine so moment so good after he loses Kenny he's just thank you all yeah. oh she but her it was, super, it was beyond sincere yeah. her her punching yeah. him is is so freaking good because she like I'm screams and like and like <laughs> sprints at him and then and then like gives him a little half punch and he kind of like leans into it and just takes it and <laughs> yeah. she's like how do you like that and he's just like he just giggles and he's like thank you all it's so good it's such a clean like little like 45 second minute scene um mm-hmm. love it brings puts a smile yeah. on my face every time absolutely this you next to... arc puts a whole smile on my face though that is a fact though yeah pretty much my favorite part of the entire series 
Yeah. Okay, we are God having damn. some agreement right now. We're, we're having some, having some <laughs> we good taste. Having some doing it and doing it and doing it well. If, if the second half of this season was cut into like a season four and then season four, season five, this would be the best season. <laughs> I God. I agree, and actually that that is kind of the case on my anime list. This season is like this half because it came out like a year after or something is like is like yeah. listed as its own season and it's the second highest ra- rated anime of all time on my anime list all right under this came out in yeah. april 2019 yeah. i believe some around then 2019 yeah. oh so it's yeah it's still fairly new god it's insane it is unreal no that like, season is unfucking real and it, it goes back to where it started it all and uh, which oh my god uh, there's a, there's a lot to get to but yeah, it, you can't do all of it, but yeah, there's a, there's a it's, lot of great moments. it's you get the perfect setup. You get like, uh, yeah, we can't miss this, honestly. Where freaking they're going up to the top of the wall, you get the people finally behind the scouts. Oh, and, and so good, cheering. Oh, my, yeah. and everyone is just like, ah, just like he's finally like getting the recognition he deserves. Yeah, er- and they Irwin's- inspire the people. Erwin's yell there is so good. He's like, he's fine. He's because Erwin just like gets fired up from nothing. Like he just like <laughs> yeah. he he can like light that furnace on his own and just like be his own fire. But like the fact that he's getting hyped up, he's just like top of the world, cloud nine, like re- leading his men. Like the morale is basically as high as it could ever be. And he's just like, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he says so Susume good. one more time. It's really good. He does, um, it, uh, he does it one more time, like four episodes later. But yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The little, yeah. Um, um, and did you r- real quick? Did you watch the credits after that, Trevor? Because there's a after credits thing, which I don't is not think so. Okay, yeah, it's not I'll something you missed that. out on because it's it's just a tease of the next half. But it was the nuttiest thing watching it live because again yeah. you had to wait like a year. And there's like it starts a. Uh, <laughs> There you go. It starts glitching out in the credits, and it's like super weird. And then it shows the scene of Levi just going like, "Do you have any clue what you're doing?" When they're on the rooftop, and in context, it's the serum scene, like the choice scene. But they just show that out of context, and he's like, "Mika says about to freaking hit him with a sword and stuff." And yeah, just it's like he's all bloody. It's yeah, insane. He, Levi's all bloody. He kicks the shit out of Aaron down down the roof, and then Mikasa instantly attacks him and has the the blade at his throat. And that's like all you get. And then they're just like, okay, bye. See you in however long, however many months or year. I don't know what the time between se- between half seasons was, but yeah, um, yeah. It's yeah, I, I didn't, didn't I did it. not realize that was there until oh, my yeah. until this rewatch. Um, because mm-hmm. I I I didn't know it was there. You know, my previous one. So, um, yeah, it was because that happens like two thirds of the way through that through this next arc so it's like mm. crazy that they that that was like the teaser was so much happens before that scene um, yeah it's so one it's of the biggest cliffhangers nutty. i remember yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you just have no fucking clue uh, but either way they get into it and it's just the freaking payoff of the entire series basically like, yeah uh dude this this fight is just insane it, it kind of takes that tross fight and puts it on its head like all right, we're, we we did that like six years ago. You, you got to see what we got now. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, I love when they give Armin Shine, uh, mm-hmm. you know, being the genius that he is. He, he never like he never fully succumbs under the pressure. He's not yeah. great under pressure when you like on the outside, but his brain is always working. And he may not sh- he may not have the confidence that he should, but he comes through yet again, and uh, he's able to locate. Uh, Reiner and Berthold in the yeah. In the well, they only locate Reiner, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. safe to. And homie the gets other one is also shanked for yeah, his trouble. Yeah, gets real shanked. I was pissed. Yeah, I felt it's tough. I, I felt horrible about That's that. It's tough. Yeah, like yeah. that would suck to be like, oh, there's a crevice here, and then you just get destroyed. I know. Yeah. Like, um, Ugh, he he did his real. duty to humanity. That's for sure. Yeah, that is for right sure. On. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's right before the the um, when they plug up the hole, they all get there and they're like trying to take in the 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 scenes and everything. The scene of Aaron like flinging himself over the wall and transforming in midair. The camera angles and stuff they use there is so clean. Just like the yeah, cinematography sure. in 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 these bits is is so great. But yeah, then the, then the um, there's a lot of dynamic everything with Armin, like action and. 
like you said, there was a cool little moment where when he puts Armin in charge, another like subordinate of, of Erwin is like another another like terrible yeah. gamble of yours, and he's like, Nope, Armin's proved himself. And it's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> like you yeah, actually just like you face. actually just trust just, that guy. They just start getting in his face, like, What's our next move? What's our next move? What's yeah. our next move? Yeah. <laughs> Armin's just like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. They really Armin's great. They really keep just Armin is showing. awesome. How, he's a, he's yeah. a total homie. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Why are you flicking me up, bro? <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. I'll, I'll my bad. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Um, yeah. But, yeah. They, yeah it's, it's a great uh, start to the, the whole battle. They just they have, like, a little bit of, like, okay, what's going on? I mean, they have, like, the it's too quiet type thing, basically, for the first yeah. episode. Like, yep. there's no yeah. Titans. We plugged up one half. Like We know good? they're here. We know they're yeah. here. Yeah, it's it's definitely like it's quiet, too quiet for sure. Um, Get the and then just de- it was demoralizing when I came to the realization that um, even if they plugged the wall, like Reiner could still just pop right through again. Yeah, they like, say it. There's no. Yeah, they literally. Yeah. Say, but it, they give you enough space where it's like, yes, there's hope that you plug it, but it's it doesn't matter in the long run if you don't like it's a band aid over the solution. It's not a root yeah. cause. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, yeah. So, if we don't kill them, then yeah, you then know, we're freaked. Gonna constantly come through. That was demoralizing as hell when I actually came to that. Yeah, yeah I know. Makes sense. I know. The yeah, freaking odds are stacked. So slippery. Yeah, yeah. You can't get no, and that's like that carries in the, this entire arc where like Reiner just does not die, man. That's <laughs> not at all. Oh, that's what I was gonna. Fucking, God, I fucking hate him, man. That's what I was gonna start getting into because as soon as he pops out of the wall, right, he shanks the one dude and pops out of the wall, and then Levi comes down the wall at a million miles an hour, uh, knife yeah. through his entire neck, and like w- whites of his eyes that. rolled back, and it's <laughs> like, oh, I kind of, it kind of broke immersion for me. Oh, I was like, all right, we're not, we're not doing this whole transfer conscious thing. This yep. is, that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. <laughs> Y'all, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. I feel it's you on like that. Like the the two second gif of the the fucking mind going back into his nervous. Like, are you fucking serious, man? Yeah, he, he literally you. says outright, he's like, you know, half a second slower, and I'd be a goner. It's like you bastard, just die. <laughs> I know. I'm glad that he doesn't because you know it's still there's a great yeah war that ensues after that, but still like, fuck, are you serious? Yeah. It's still like. It's like one of those things that I felt like they could have got away with, even if, even if, like they didn't need that. Like he, I don't think they needed it either. Because he's a titan, it would make sense for him to have eight. restorative properties. Like yeah, they could have just explained it that way instead of oh yeah, no, they missed the nape. Like that's yeah, yeah, you know, like he transformed I, inside yeah, and healed himself. That's it. Like you don't yeah. immediately mm-hmm. die, even if you get decapitated. You've got like ten full seconds of seeing the world still before you cut out. Like. Yeah, they exactly. Have, they could have done that, but yeah, the history of oh, the, well. the guillotine is fascinating. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. yeah, it's. I think they, I think they kind of entrap themselves in over-explaining it like that because of the whole, you know, like people can pilot titans and how does the nervous system work out? And they tried to just like slap that on there and be like, this is how it works. Where do the reproductive organs go? <laughs> yes, the biggest question. I don't have them. Uh, but yeah, Everyone it's um. Them. <laughs> but so so yeah it's um <laughs> jesus freaking christ I sure do. <clears throat> um yeah it's it's, it's so yeah there's that yeah. but then then we uh, then we continue yeah. being frustrated by that as they with the aforementioned um thunder spears go after his ass they go um, to work on him get his jaw oh, open and everything yeah. and they have Actually, that no, they, they cut him out first and he's just sitting there right mm-hmm and and then they're like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. We're 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 gonna we're gonna try and steal his power or whatever. And, and then Berthold just gets flung in a in a barrel, oh, yeah. like about to yeah, get yeah. used on. That's the first time he escapes. There's right, <laughs> I, I, I jumped the gun on that. I wanted to point out one scene though, where the he climbs the wall and then they force him to go back down by sending Aaron like through the city. But that stare down between Irwin and reiner on top of the wall oh, yeah where he's like and and reiner's inside his titan yeah. he's like you're not gonna give me any time to think are you and Irwin's just yeah. standing there like go chase him bitch go get his ass <laughs> <laughs> like i know you both you and i know exactly what you're about to do go do it he's like was, he's just i was honestly surprised that he took the bait he's just so far yeah. ahead i mean he, he they the way they the way they play it out is like he has to i mean that's another th- another thing is like 
you know, they're, they're these steps ahead, but in our ability to like, you know, predict their behavior and, and throw wrench in the works of like, you know, Aaron could be doing this, that, or the other thing. And he's the entire mission. Like, you know, he didn't they, see it, they predict everything perfect, perfectly. Yeah. That's why their plan works because he wasn't able to see that far ahead. Like mm-hmm. he thought that Aaron was just going to jump ship and leave and, you know, survive on his own or whatever. But yeah, like the whole plan was for them to get in the back line. But you know, yeah, yeah, if, if, like, if he doesn't take the bait, then Aaron takes the back line and like all that stuff. It's like, you know, plan A, B and C and it's like, no matter what run away and it'll work and plan A should be what happens. And it is. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. Which makes it such a great, I mean, it's, I, I would say tug of war, but also just, I mean, the amount of the amount the humans get fricked in this battle is obviously a lot, but they still have like the plans that like are really smart and come through and they have, but then you just have like, I mean, the beginning of it where, it's just like it, it, lightning strikes across the entire mm. freaking thing. You're like, yeah. well, there's everybody. This <laughs> yeah. is frick. So they just like they keep hitting them with moments like that that they can't really predict, which I think they like Armin even talks about. But then they keep like having to plan on the fly. It's just oh, so yeah, exciting this, to watch. Uh, this yeah. is these are the moments these these series of episodes where Irwin's backstory and psychology takes a very frontal role in the in the show and <laughs> and um they have you know he talks about you know um he even admits at one point like either to himself or to levi you know my my curiosity of like what the nature of humanity is like what's in the basement is like more important to me than their than the survival of humanity i think it's when they're in the room and he's like trying to convince him not to come along Mm -hmm. on the mission and he's like and he and he says you know like is is your is that that urge that need to know like the answers of what the hell we're all here for. Is that more important than the survival of humanity? And he just says, yes, he's like, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to know that more than I want we us to achieve our ultimate victory. And then, so at a different point, he talks about, he thinks about, you know, like, even if we lose this battle, could I still make it to the basement? Like, could I still find everything out? And so that's Mm -hmm. what ends up, you know, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Um, but the, his like final, final decision to like lead the the charge against the beast titan and everything is like when he has that conversation with levi but yeah it's erwin's psychology plays like a, a massive part in how all this ends up playing out um, yeah and the the season does a great job like you're saying of just setting him up even in the first half and then this half just his backstory which we didn't really touch on of his father you know the the secrets that erwin maybe started to catch on to as a kid and he yep. literally got his father killed by the government just for talking about it to like other kids and stuff. It's just insane. Yeah. And then the fact that he decides to like, like he's not even like, I mean, I mean, he obviously knows the government's bad, but he's not like frick everything. He's like, all right, well, because of that, I'm going to join the military, go up high in ranks, literally prove my father. Right. <laughs> like he's just yep. that determined, which is crazy. And, and it, it, it tracks all the way back to, I think season one when he's, you know, in the lines with with all the cadets and like trying to figure out who who is the traitor who all the and he asks Aaron mm-hmm. you know who do you think the enemy is and mm-hmm. he's like oh sorry that was a strange yeah. thing to ask like because he doesn't get the question so he's not exactly. you know betraying but he's like all of this has been playing out the entire time you just don't understand the context um, exactly so it's That's it's incredible crazy. yeah yeah but it's cool they have like you know the battle on both sides of the wall is a crazy setup like. Irwin it Levi. is a crazy setup. They're in a pinch yeah. if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is like yeah. they they don't execute like an action plan against them. They kind of just use them as chess pieces, like the the whole yep. beast titan with the line of the the slightly taller um, titans, and they send the three yeah. and four meter titans to go fuck with them, just yeah. to keep them on their toes. But it, it yeah. just shows that they're playing with them. They think that they're so ahead. Well, it's kind of crazy because wire. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they're the whole. They're kind of really trying to surround them because they got Reiner in the in the walls fighting, and then now they throw Imperator in there. But now on the outside, they have the Beast Titan mm-hmm. and all those other things. So they're really just like coming in from like both sides, making them fight on uh, on two fronts, pretty the much. War of attrition. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, is how do you lose? Like, how, with that setup on paper, how do you lose that? 
Like, how do you yeah. how do you absolutely lose that? That's it was insane. Like when I was thinking about it, I'm like, I'm trying to think of outs like on the fly. Like I'm trying to like mm-hmm. be ahead of the characters and kind of yeah see what they're gonna do. And it's just like they were so down bad, man. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> they are yeah. This is probably the most tremendously bad and they and then it leads to the biggest victory which is yeah so good um that i uh what was i gonna freaking oh part of that is like it's pretty early on in this half like you know levi squad and all the, all the guys over there are doing pretty good getting rid of the small titans and then the beast titan just starts throwing rocks and it's just freaked mm-hmm. it's like one of the most devastating moments of the show to me like yeah. everyone dies immediately they call it they call mm-hmm. the episode a perfect game where he's literally right. pitching and decapitating yeah. everyone it was that was br- that was brutal to yeah see. and he's having a jolly good time the entire yeah. the entire he's thing a, yeah a little piece of shit he yeah. is the most hateable and so freak. yeah it is yeah. it is he utterly brutal because it's it's exactly mm-hmm. the it's exactly the same as like when in the very first episode when they kicked the wall in and you know, just families are getting crushed by rubble and stuff like that. It's such an unceremonious way to go. Like you're not even fighting, basically. You're just standing there, and you can't dodge. You can't do anything. You just get smoked. It's mm-hmm. it's it's absolutely brutal. Um, and they they continue to have that weight like on their on their heads the entire time. And I, like as they're trying to figure out like what the frick do we do? What the frick do we do? Thanks, Trevor. I didn't notice I did it. Ah, thanks for pointing it out. Um. <laughs> The entire time <laughs> we have that. So, so it's like the, you know, the first row of houses get destroyed. Um, Levi and Irwin are just like having their chat about like, what do we do here? You know, all this stuff. And that's where they get into, you know, Levi is, is telling them, you know, abandon your dreams and die. Like humanity needs you to like only you, like you're the only motherfucker in this entire place that is going to be able to tell anyone, let alone everyone we're all going to die. Let's lead this suicide charge. Like we're doing this, this is happening. And, and he's, he resigns to do it. Um, yeah, this is, we're, if we're, we're here now, I guess this is my favorite moment of the show. My favorite sequence. Um, the of, suicide charge. But like, yeah, the thing, the scenes leading up to it, the suicide charge. And then if, if you can count Levi destroying the beast Titan as part of that, that is like, it, it it's insane it's 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 more <laughs> it's it's hilarious when when it cuts to the beast uh he's still chucking rocks and everything and then he realizes he looks to his right he's like holy shit wait why are they dead and oh then you just God. see levi's like blood-stained face just and like, you <laughs> burst through the smoke and, instantly but yep. like rips him out the reason why this works so well is because they don't fuck levi over they let it happen. They don't give a, another like out for the Beast Titan. Oh yeah, he cuts his heels yep. off. He go, he falls to the ground. He cuts him out. He defeated him. Like whether yeah. or not he killed him is another story. But like it works so well because they allowed him to try be triumphant. Yeah, thank I you. Love. Yes, it is. is. Yeah, go ahead, David. Yeah, that, that's what she said. It's so true because it, it is. Such you, a we, cl- victory. we clear yes yeah, so we clearly have enough of them being fricked and fricked and fricked yeah. and like we need we need a breather and then yeah the the brilliant freaking thing of like hey like i like when everyone's just like what you talking about there's there's stuff at the right height right there it's freaking titans like just go <laughs> take them out and Jesus go get the power line oh uh, yeah is it not just, yeah. is it not push anyone off how like he just gets snatched up again though like by another titan oh, oh, and, like, yeah. oh, oh yeah oh yeah the yeah, sure. the that stupid ass fucking titan with the mouth oh my god yeah. no yes I yeah know. the I, uh yeah it's uh him with his sword in the mouth of the beast titan you're just like pull the fucking trigger do it fucking yeah, kill his ass right now i don't want don't steal the power. A, i do don't not want a millisecond of hesitancy or like planning i want you to cut his goddamn head off immediately and it's like of course of course five seconds later the random ass titan prances in just nabs him and then is gone and it's like yeah. it's like sick thanks didn't see that I coming know. it's it's and a you, bit much. You think that Levi is gonna die right there? <laughs> it's just no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, and that's just... the field. they uh <sighs> like as he runs away and you know he draws his swords for the umpteenth time. It's like it gets me every time how cool that looks. Um, and he's they like, even I even showed you know, the OP, I, like I, the second OP. Yeah, like it shows the yeah. sparks coming out he, when he's pulling the sword out. 
Yeah, yeah he, he talks about the like the reason he doesn't off him immediately is because you know Irwin's smoked back there. You know, if he's if there's a chance he's still alive, we have the serum. We can use it on Irwin and have him eat the Beast Titan, and then Irwin is saved. Um, and so you know doesn't pull the trigger, and then it it zooms out to the wall, and you just see levi in the absolute distance just like slicing the next three titans in the course of like the next five seconds it's just like this man is on a rampage (laughs) it is ridiculous yeah that's so good cannot be stopped yeah and we uh, we can't skip over Irwin's his what he's saying to levi of just the moment when he, he finally sits down and he just like, do you, I think he says, do you see them, Levi, like our, our comrades and just, you see, you see the, like the forms of everyone who has died up to this point, just yep. like they're watching us and it's just so beautiful. He's like, it, it's within my reach that like, I'm right there. He has freaking one arm. He's just like, I could freaking reach out and grab it basically. And just like, like Cameron already basically completely explained. It's just. If he's one of my favorite characters easily, maybe my favorite because he has the choice between his ultimate freaking motivation. He even says in this season, like, I've been lying to people when I say, like, Shinzo Sasagi, I'll give your hearts. Like, I'm lying. Yeah. Like, I just want my goal. And somehow I got to this position. Like, he basically has imposter syndrome. Like, but then in this moment, like, everything, like, you realize that. It was kind of there was truth in it basically like he he actually like he makes the choice for humanity i mean he sort of gives the thing to levi to like tell him to die but he's like he will give up everything right there and just freaking it's on it's the ultimate it's like the ultimate character payoff like one of the best i've seen honestly to in agree anything it's it's unreal and just his speech when like they're charging of just like the giving the freaking past people who've died like that's our job is like to give them meaning and the people right. coming after us will give our lives meaning like do you think like are your lives meaningless like would you say that about you know our fallen comrades like no it's it has a meaning to it and people will carry it on just freak like it, th- this it is, is like powerful that that was a very powerful statement and a way to put it yeah and it's like Th- that stuff is like if if the show because it's not finished yet right like i just look ahead in the future trash i will have this and the show will still like, <laughs> it can't the show can't yeah. be trash like even no matter what happens that's hilarious like, this is yeah unreal yeah it's, no it's like, i've had those like moments how, how the hell do you find the motivation to yeah tell them to die and give that meaning yeah the fact that he's able to spin it that way it's just it's, it is beautiful yeah, yeah. It's, uh, if Irwin were to just retire to a career of speech writing, any politician, no matter what their platform, oh, yeah, he, would get elected. Really. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, he's he's mm-hmm. like incredibly articulate. Yeah, yeah, and his his voice actor Daisuke Ono, who I think I mentioned before, is so freaking good. And I, oh god, dang, it's like I think yeah. it's his best performance too. It's insane. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the way he just screams out, like, you know, my soldiers, you know, s- scream, you know, my soldiers fight is just, mm-hmm. God dang, it's perfect. I yeah, it just, I just can't imagine someone in a studio, just like <laughs> in, in a studio room with a mic, making me believe that they're standing on top of a wall commanding hundreds of troops. Like, it's it's ridiculous honestly it's it's a phenomenal performance from him um yeah and, you know i couldn't match i couldn't match his tonality and and all that if i tried for years i don't think so mm-hmm. um yeah it's absolutely amazing yeah on to the burt holt fight yeah the other side uh, of the wall yes, is absolutely crazy as frick too ours huh <laughs> what is that, that, that i'm pretty sure that's one of the the names of the episode. I think that's the name of the last episode. Oh, the damn. Other side of the wall, and then it's like the other side of the sea. Oh, true. You were <laughs> dang. I didn't even know. Nice, dang. nice oh. catch. Yeah. Yeah. This this dude's a prick, bro. I, I fucking <laughs> hate this pussy. I, I'm so like it. It's just like the little things where they they like the the writing in this and just like how believable it is most of the time. Where like they're able to pick up weaknesses. They're constantly thinking like they're. Like Bertholdt has that muscle structure, and it degrades after a certain period of time because it's cause it has so much energy built within it, yeah. and it yeah. requires so much energy to maintain. 
that whenever mm -hmm. he does his steam attack, you know, it kind of degrades him. And the fact that he's able to point that out and kind of see a weakness and you just, you think that they're so down bad because they are. And like, they're just like looking to Armin for answers and he ends up buckling because he gives it to Gene. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, like you're better at this. Like <laughs> he's yeah. so humble. <laughs> he's, I know. Yeah. And he's like, John's freaking, and then, uh, I was going to say, John gives it straight back, like we were talking about earlier, is like you were trying to think in the shoes of the scouts and be like, how the frick do we get out of this? That's what John was like. He's like, you know, I'm saying, you know, heat, we go to the river. That's like, that makes sense. I'm, I'm making, you know, the these split second, like, minuscule decisions. But this fight, I got no clue, bud. That's all you. That's like, yeah. you're going to have to, you're going to have to be the one that somehow gets us out of this. Yeah. And so when, when Armin's finally like, what does he say? Like I have a plan or something? Basically, like when you finally he yeah, finally has a plan. Like yeah, Eureka yep. hits him. Yep. Yeah, it's just like I notice he's been getting skinnier. Basically, like that's yeah. You're right. It's so crazy. Yeah, and so yeah. he goes and wakes Aaron up yet again, and uh, mm. they <laughs> they fake a concussion basically, mm. where he just <laughs> yeah. he just falls off the wall, and then you know in the smoke screens just like keep on happening in this show whether it's like inflicted on one sh one side or the other technically this is a steam screen but then i guess smoke because all the houses are lighting on fire below him so there's that um mm -hmm. but yeah they just use that cover to armin you know sacrifices himself holds on fam that scene bruh mm -hmm. oh my god man when he's yeah. I, so like you think like the entire time you're like He's going to let go, and, and you know he's gonna get scattered or something like that. He's gonna have a hard fall, mm -hmm. but he'll be all right. He basically kills himself, like he yeah. angers himself, which is another thing, like another like analytical part of his brain where he latches onto his tooth, uh huh, yeah, and not, and not the muscle because like yeah. the team, you know, um, dislodges the ODM gear mm -hmm. from the muscle tissue. Yep. Yeah. So he does it on the bone. And he just holds on, man. He's like, yo, this is so hot. I need to let go. I'm going to die. He just chars himself to death, basically. Uh, you f you feel it. He's like, I can't breathe. Like, I need to. Yeah, like you said, it's so harrowing. Dude, when, his, like... when his fucking clothing started catching on fire, I was like, I, I was literally on the edge of my seat. I was like, because this was like the sixth or seventh episode I had yeah. watched in like straight. Yeah. And I'm like, no, they're not killing him, right? Like, they, <laughs> they can't kill him. I don't want him to die. Like, he is he's too adorable. He is so pivotal to the reason why they're still standing yeah uh -huh. yeah and they basically pull the plug on him like for all intents and purposes he he's and basically dead he is charcoal. Way he, yeah. The, yeah yeah the way he looks is like oh that's a dead man like yeah, oh, he's, for, yeah. he's dead I, like from what we know he's dead until he coughs when he's yeah. on the roof right yeah including yeah. the people checking his vitals thought he was dead they're like he's not breathing he's he's doing nothing like he's he's gone for he's done for mm -hmm. and they recover his body basically well, my man literally got rotisserie yeah, like, no. yeah. He's dead. He yeah. Sure. no freak yeah. he's yeah. breathing but it's he's yeah. breathing fire is what but he yeah, was they, breathing they, they just absolutely bamboozle the freak out of bird hole where he's like uh, he's just counting on aaron's titan just sitting there and he busts out of the titan gets the odm gear strapped on and and goes after his neck and slices right, him out yeah. real perfect. Get, takes his arms and legs as well. Which is another moment where they don't fuck it up. They don't. Yes. They just let it breathe. Yeah. Like it's another hard-earned victory. Uh -huh. They went to the ends of the earth to get this. <laughs> uh -huh. and they let it happen. I'm yes. So glad. Uh, they. Oh, and it's like a payoff of all. You know, the, the basically the first episode. You like the first Titan you see is a colossal Titan. Fricks up Aaron's hometown. Then the fifth episode, he's going after his neck, and then he disappears. Yeah. And obviously, they're like his mortal enemies the whole time. Yep. So when he's like the fact that he goes in human mode to freaking slice yep. his neck is just we we getting the payoff, boys. Like it's, sure. it's happening. Like God dang, so good, bro. He just rips him out. Like you're coming with me, bro. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I I wanted I I really wanted him to just slaughter him right there. I didn't want to I didn't want to have another Reiner de, like debacle which right. happens again. You know, with the <laughs> yeah the yeah quadruped basically just scoops him up and oh, the yeah. yeah Reiner yeah. just gets like saved by the skin of his teeth so many times, bro. like four times in a row in this arc where it's like it he gets he gets his head chopped off basically but he transfers his consciousness and then he gets blown up completely and that's when Ryan and that's when Bertholdt finally gets tossed over the wall and so they evacuate the area because they think 
they're going to get nuked, which they should have, but, you know, he sees him at the last moment, busts out, goes and gets him, um, or goes and talks to him, but he's still attached to the Titan. And then he falls on his back, so now he's, like, covered by the armor and they don't have enough spears to get him. And then when they finally have a chance to get him when, like, the chaos has settled down, then that's when the the other, like, intelligent titan finally comes and scoops him. And it's like, how the fuck is this man alive? <laughs> it's <No>. just... <laughs> it's like, especially with, like, the second time was with Aaron when he has the, the ice knuckles or whatever. He beats the fucking piss yep. out of him. Yep. Again. They kill him again, basically. I and know, they... They have uh, yeah, no limbs, too. It's like what the fuck. I know the the, the moment the thunder spears just body in him, which is hype as yeah. freak, but he still survives. Like it's just Mikasa my goes and, the town on him, and they yeah. and they just like they even have a decision. Like Jean's like maybe we shouldn't kill him, and it's like yeah. oh my god, just please don't say that. Like he yeah. needs like ah, uh, and then yeah, it's yeah, I mean they'd... thank like thank thank the writer. Thank the writers. Thank everyone that freaking they Isayama. get Bertolt. Like they kill oh Bert. Yeah, thank Isayama. God. They kill Bertolt. If they had all like escaped, it'd be like it, I'm it was losing all my freaking nothing. mind. Uh, yeah, I'd be all losing my mind. Yeah, if, yeah, if all that happens and everyone just pieces out and they're like, "Oh yeah, we plugged the hole." Woo! It's like that's all we get is like, "All right, boys, come on." <laughs> but yeah, but the, the payoffs yeah. are there. They do it very well. So the most frustrating yeah. point on top of all of that is when they're on the top of the wall they're, and they're like they're escaping or whatever and I think Aaron's dad tells them like you're incredibly lucky for being alive or whatever it, and that, that that point right there I was like you're incredibly lucky like fam you wrote it four times that he should have died and he did uh, <laughs> yeah that. no That's kidding it. you're incredibly <laughs> no kidding yeah exactly you don't freaking say yeah yeah and they have that yeah the that moment to where I he, was he, cheering. he almost dies again <laughs> where they have like Hanji comes like back from the dead and, and hits the second thunder spear on his jaw and then Mikasa yeah, gets that great. super cool really nicely animated scene where she whips in and, and throws it down his throat but he somehow doesn't die so like what's the point in talking about it almost um, <laughs> it's still great but it's yeah. still great it's still super clean and super super nice but mm-hmm. it's like come on man yeah and uh, yeah reiner gives him the little note too which was interesting from uh ymir we haven't heard from for a minute but yeah but yeah, absolutely right 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 now we get freaking the rooftop scene which yes. is, yep. yes, which sir. is nuts, uh, pretty iconic in itself but it is for sure that choice the choice like, dang. yep i ne- neither are wrong in my eyes yeah I, I would i would understand both ways but i cheered i literally did this when they picked Armin. Yeah. I was so happy, dude. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It's, yeah they, I love both of the characters, but I do too. I mean, it's Irwin's tough. Irwin's literally my favorite probably, but it, it does make sense. It's like that's how good the writing is. It, it makes sense that it's Armin basically. Right. At yeah. the, in the end. He, he's just as pivotal to where they're at now, like as uh Irwin is, like being that's a commander. Basic. Yeah, and it's like do. he has the future, right? Brain. Like, yeah, he's the yeah. future brains of the operation. Yeah, they mm-hmm. do. They do all the flashbacks of like Armin was the one who who suggested this initially, figured out this, figured out this, suggested this, and it's like, you know, we wouldn't, you know, it's 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 him, and they they, you know, I think it's Aaron, like even screams out like it's not me, it's not anyone, it's Armin. Armin is like the future of humanity. Like he's he's gonna be the brains of the operation to actually get this shit done. It needs to be him. Mm-hmm. Um. And you know the I I do love the um, the final reasoning. Mm-hmm. I believe ends up being that more than anything, it was because Irwin Irwin finally gave up on the dream and finally resigned himself to die as a soldier of humanity and like die as as a hero of humanity and for that purpose. And there's even a moment. Um, when Erwin's going to get executed, um, like way, way before, um, where I think it's premier Zachary says something about, you know, death would have been the easier option is like getting executed. Mm-hmm. There would have been an easier existence for you than like living and having to deal with all the horseshit to come. And mm-hmm. so th- that ends up being, I believe Levi's final reasoning is like to make him come back into this hell of a world would be, like too much like that's not essentially mm-hmm. my call to make in that way um and so yeah Armin and gets the the serum 
It's 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 really it's pretty great. Yeah, like Flock is the recruit, like the one recruit who survives. He brings yep. him back, and he's like, I don't, because he like he's like everyone's a devil basically. I don't forget him, forgive him, and then Levi's at the end is like, could you like, could you maybe you know forgive him eventually? He was a devil, but like he had to be. He's, yep. Like you said, born into the hell of a world. Mm-hmm. Like like let's let him rest, which is yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. great so many top tier lines just one liners and paragraphs just and throughout then, right. those those exchanges those conversations especially like you were talking about flock was was the one like exchanging words with erwin like as erwin's giving the speech and he's like does our life like so you're saying we're gonna die here or die in the charge so we might as well die fighting and like all this stuff and erwin's like yes exactly perfect you got it we're all fucked yeah. there is no meaning but then he goes on his whole spiel about like if there is no meaning then there is meaning um which is, you know, great um, in and of itself, which we already talked about. But yeah, and then so he's even. Yeah, it's, it's, and he has. It, there's so many good lines. I, I could you could quote I the show all day. I know, right? And he has his final words. Are like he raises his hand. He's like, uh, his his reasoning is so Sensei. cool. Like this, yeah. The second time I watched it, I was like, wow, that's really a great like great writing. Because he's like, if you know, he's like, he's basically like, you know teacher could there be humanity beyond the walls like he and you realize his whole like the thing that he has that that he's thought the whole time is he realized in the history books they say all of humanity was wiped out except within the walls but he's like that's not objective like yep he just he notices like one like little wording thing that's like it should be like we believe think all of humanity is wiped out we believe it yeah. yeah and that's like it's so smart that he like thought that and then he just believed it so heavily yeah, it's his, like, and then yeah. the wording is is very important there too because it's like he's he he looks at the book and he's like you know prove it like prove it like you're saying that that's the case but like where the frick is the evidence like I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm reading that this is like but it's like you know you can't believe everything you read on the internet can't believe everything you read in a uh, a parody island history book, um, <laughs> history history book, book. yeah so honestly honestly yeah it's pretty great and he it it's cool because he ends up being right I mean. You know the basement. Yep, the oh, basement. Know. Yep, they only make it made us wait what like fifty six episodes. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. I will say, I will say before yeah. before we get to the basement, I'm a, if I put on my critical thinking cap, I'm gonna need you, my boys to hear me out for mm-hmm. sure. But this may could very well be one of my biggest pet peeves in anime is when they have because when I was watching it for the first time and they roast armin and i'm like holy crap there's no way that like this has huge implications in my eyes he's part of the big three you know you got aaron mikasa and armin those are the main three and like mm. they killed him off in this way like like i'm emotionally attached i don't want to see him die but the way they do it is like holy the imp- like what are they doing they're wild but then it kind of puts a, di- a distaste in my mouth when like it's like he's st- like how is he still alive? I, I hate when they make you think that they're dead and then they're not dead when he totally should be dead. I'm not yeah. saying that I, I wanted him to die, but you make me think that he's definitely dead and then he's not. That part is yeah. what I don't like. That's why that, that's why that scene is so pivotal because like it, it completely changes the course of action. Yeah, It's like, I, I'm with you, Alex. I definitely see that, that criticism because it, it, it's frustrating and it's like, you know, just have the thing happen and just go from there, right? Like, have the consequences play out but then i feel like this is one of the few where i actually am like okay they set this up so that it's this giant choice and they they basically are both going to die like yeah. logically they're going to die like from their injuries for sure so mm-hmm. we you know this is this is what the scene is we, we can save one and that's you know why you know saving Bertold is important and that kind of thing so right. it's yeah. it's kind of yeah. like I, I i'm 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 with you in general for sure but I could see like they kind of. It's not like I almost feel like they had to do it in a way, or maybe like, yeah, it's like just the way that the world works, where like they had the serum and they're like, oh, you can eat a titan and you can basically resurrect yourself or whatever. Like mm-hmm. the way they were building it up, you, I think I I probably saw it coming, even though I thought he was dead. But mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I guess that was my thing is that like he already was like. Uh, the fact that he's breathing is like kind of nuts because like he already should be dead and shouldn't even have the capabilities of moving. I feel you. Yeah. yeah. 
I feel you. Yeah, you got to suspend some of your beliefs uh, just yeah. because you know, I, they can literally yeah, yeah. transfer consciousness into the like the yeah, yeah, yeah. nervous system. It's ridiculous. I get you. You don't want to feel like it's BS though at a crucial moment. But yeah, of course. You know, technically, he could survive for a little bit after that. I guess for um, sure. But yeah, I'm a yeah. I feel you. I I don't know. I wouldn't. I've never been cooked well done. So <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, that that was, was well done. Yes. Yes. Um. Rocky yeah. Rocky. So. uh it, I'm I'm a sucker for for shows and and the fact that you know I want to see the the main group of protagonists stick together and be fine and like see it out to the end of the story and stuff like that. So you know I didn't I I'm 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 very okay with the way the show went in that respect of like you know I want all three of them to be alive like you said the big three, um and to see out the story to the end and it's like okay like I'll I'll like when you said suspend my belief of of some sort of realism um that's Travia, yeah. um in order to like have that be nice and have the show go the way I want it to basically. Um, that being said, especially with this show, it is tough when you're like, cause Aaron gets fucked in the very first season. Right. And you're like, Oh, now is this going to be mm-hmm. this way or whatever? And, but then he's alive and you're like, okay, I guess plot armor does exist for this show, even though we nip characters off like crazy and all this stuff like plot armor is still going to happen basically with the core cast. And so then you get to this point and you're like, wow, I guess not. Like maybe there actually is like some form of way in which in, you know, some grand sacrifice and some massive plot point that we will lose one of our central characters. But you know, like it's not, it's not deus ex machina. It's not like that insane because they it's it's part of the show that it's it's a mechanic that they've already introduced is like they've they've set it up extensively in the past few episodes of like this is the titan serum if someone's on death's door we use the titan serum on them and then have them eat an intelligent titan it's like this is there was lots of foreshadowing for that so it makes it's it's not as as terrible of a outcome as like you know this guy lived just because he needed to as opposed to there was some yeah. reason um so i get i get both yeah. sides there um i think i definitely end up landing on the side of i want everyone to you know succeed together um but i mm-hmm. i definitely get the frustration sure. and i felt it as well yeah i definitely understand it um yeah i mean history books, <laughs> history books. yeah i mean history books. the amount the it's just crazy how much happens because you get every freaking action payoff this giant battle that you could want and then it's like they also get to the basement they don't wait till the final season like all right we're getting to the basement now we're gonna figure out the truth of the world here we go yep like the last few episodes and it's just there you go there's i know yeah. i i knew exactly what was going to be behind that door but i mm. was expecting treasure <laughs> i'm not gonna <laughs> lie like uh, just yeah. some sort of like like glamorous payoff of of the, all their sacrifices just like you know maybe like a stock of meat uh, or something a scrooge like that. mcduck <laughs> pile of gold something some meat some meat for sasha because um, they walk in and they're so incredibly underwhelmed, like this is just a doctor's den. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they even say it mm-hmm. out loud. Yeah, um, yeah. So the information. Yes, information isn't that the most important treasure of all? Um, <laughs> hey. So <laughs> yeah, they have a. Uh, that's that's where we start into Grisha's backstory because they're you know they're looking around and Mikasa has that nice little flashback of like the cup on the ground and stuff and then in bending down to pick it up finds the keyhole in the desk and they open it up and they have three books in one of which is is that a portrait no it's too detailed to be a portrait so it's like a cool little thing where they don't know what a photograph is because they don't have the technology that's like another thing that they talk about and like Mm -hmm. through this thing that could not have come from inside the walls written on the back of it is like this is a this is me with my family like the humanity lives in extravagance outside the walls like inside the walls is not the entire world um and Mm. read these books and find out why and so it's it's that final like like we keep on saying payoff is like we're finally in the basement we're finally figuring out like it's not like it's not like we've been like if they tease the basement for so so freaking long and then they just get there and it's like oh a boulder went through it like the the basement wasn't protected from the destruction of shiganshina i was like Ah, like that would have that would have devastated me. I'm just like you've been ma- making me wait this long, and we're just not gonna get there. Um, yeah, but they don't do that at all. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's the best payoff it could be. It's like yeah. here's 
the like the big revelation about the entire world of the show and it's like they're they're basically just you know uh put on here as like you know you know what's the right word just uh heavily discriminated against and on here because of history of the world and you know the racism and ethnic you know freaking violence of this giant nation called marley yeah, that this is, is where freaking... we get a lot of explaining. It's just all backstory yeah, and all yeah. explanation. We're just in information territory here. It's 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 a lot yeah. very very quickly. Yeah, yeah, and you you know, freaking Aaron's dad has. Well, he it's crazy because he I guess you know he has the kid of the royal bloodline because he marries her. It's like the amount of stuff that's interwoven and connected that like is nutty yes, and the fact the, that he homie just ends up being a snitch <laughs> yeah his son i know it's just like yeah he, t- you, bro. he talks about oh, you know i should have known the the sin of trying to force your beliefs onto one's child is like because that's that's what made him rebel to begin with um yeah so yeah, yeah they 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 show that story of you know they escape the internment zone they're some sort of lesser race which we then find out they call the eldians and the eldians were according to Marley and everyone is like the, this evil race of people that existed in complete power for almost like 1800 years or something. They say something like that. Um, I think it's like 1820. Um, and so now they must pay for their sins by being like the lesser race to, to everything. Um, and so, you know, they, they murder his sister and so he lives the rest of his life you know in anguish and trying to turn a rebel finally breaks out with like the restorationist like you said marries this woman has the kid tries to force the kid and then they get betrayed and put it up on the wall and that's where we find out who the titan that ate aaron's mom was Yep. Yeah, that was a yep. fucked up revelation. They and they <laughs> yeah. they only show the clip of like her face in the field for like half a second, but it's, yeah. like, it's long enough where you're like, you've watched the show, you know exactly what that is. Yeah, yeah. and and that Aaron, it's like around. the way they do it is cool too, where it's like a nightmare Aaron is having of like his father's memories replaying in his mind, and it's like my dad's first wife ate my mom. <laughs> Yeah. yeah i know it's like it's so fucking nuts so, my jaw hit so the floor freak. i was like you're kidding me we're gonna line that up like that like not only I did know. this titan like come to come to be in front of Aaron at the at the climax of season two but now it's now like it's even more important than that like that's why that worked to begin with was because it was this woman of royal bloodline and that's how the coordinate worked at all was and then and then he has that whole moral dilemma of like, do I tell everyone and then risk what they'll do to Historia because Historia is of royal blood, and so like, I'm not the, the, he doesn't divulge that information before the end of the season, I don't think, um, and so, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it's it's a lot. and then what it's it's a don't lot. Don't they reveal here that? Like Aaron has memories of like when he gets injected, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, By that's and then he. I want to say that's he, throughout. He eats his dad. Much. Yeah, yeah, he eats his dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to say that's. That holy! I didn't even realize that the first time I I watched it. Wait, I, I missed that then. That's right. That's earlier on. That's about in the in the transition between seasons when they go and they find um mm-hmm. the guy who's the the commandant of the Shattis, of the yeah. um the recon, uh-huh. um, who they show like they have his whole backstory where he was in love with Carla, and he was a you know a a, a scout soldier who got brought up and eventually made commander and because he had all these great ideas and that's that's that whole. They, they wax philosophic for a whole episode there about like being special and like what does it mean to be a special individual and all that stuff and so um yeah he moves on to event he teaches you know Grisha everything he needs to know about life inside the walls and all that stuff and uh and then eventually is like when that the timeline plays out where Grisha goes he has the attack Titan in him because that's what we find out at the very end is like the owl, his informant for the restorationists was the attack Titan. And they say, they say it, they say the thing guys, they say the thing. Aaron they says do, the thing. Do. Shingeki no Kyojin. Um, mm-hmm. And so 
so yeah, he he has the attack titan in him, goes steals the founding titan from the royal family, and then right after that is in the woods. He like goes and gets Aaron from the from the like shelter, um, like the refugee shelter. Takes him out to the woods, has him eat him, and then just the the guy that uh the commandant brings him back to the shelter. And then that's like the yeah. end of his story. And then right up until the little post credit where it shows that he was the one who sabotaged Aaron's gear in training to try to get him to fail um, selection. Oh, like, but yeah, that's yeah. that's when Aaron, you know, passes, even though his gears broke as frick. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's, I, so that's we referenced it before of like the, the moment when it, it's like the first or, or like the second episode after they escape, they're in that shelter. Mm-hmm. And then you have the like Aaron's weird flashes of memory where he's like, "Dad, what are you doing? Are you, you know you've been driven crazy by mom dying?" And then we find out, yeah, he made him eat him so he could get the Titan. Which yeah, is freak. And the the horrendous yeah. thing yeah. about that whole sequence as well is that he experiences that scenario from his father's perspective. He doesn't have any recollection of being the the Titan, like the child Titan, and eating his dad, like from his own perspective. He just has the perspective of being eaten by himself, basically. Which is like super yeah. fricked. True. Um, True. So. Yeah. And less I guess the, the I guess that's what happened to dad. Yes. The the biggest thing or not the the last uh big thing of the flashback stuff is the owl is like, you know, trying to, you know, give, give an Aaron's dad a pep talk, basically like, you got to do it, man, you know? And he's like, you have to do it to save, um, he Carmen. And Armin. Armin. Yeah. He's no, like, no, who are they? Who he's are like, they? I don't know, <laughs> which is nutty as frick. I have no freaking idea, but that's nutty as frick. Yeah. And it's, we just have no answer. It's just like, they just like, every time we get all these questions answered, they just, throw another freaking wrench in the works it's like wait what wait, wait you said There's and then more and then they're just like okay let's move on exactly um, yeah more yeah and then they they drop that little nugget too that uh that they'll um that uh all intelligent titans only ever have 13 years to live after inheriting the power so technically you know aaron's been on the clock and armin just started his clock and all that good stuff mm-hmm. so um yeah you know we only have so long to do whatever we're going to do. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, yeah. Last bits are uh, them getting the medals and. Right? From yeah. Queen Historia. Yeah. Historia gets the letter from Amir saying she wanted to marry her and that was her yeah. only regret. Yep. Which, yeah. It's pretty nice. It's a nice ending. Yeah. They get that, uh, that exp- memory swap when whenever he. He gets the medal. I can't remember exactly what oh. he gets from her, from her, but it's like real quick. Yeah, right. She's kind of terrified of it. Yeah, she like kisses his hand, and he gets some flash or something weird. Cause she, I guess yeah, there's some weird connection there. But, yeah. yeah, I forget exactly what he sees. I feel like I wrote it down, but now I I can't remember if it's remember. anything really clear or not. Honestly, I don't. But, yeah, I don't. Remember. I, don't think I mean, so. he did, he just ends up with that that look on his face that everyone notices, where he's like gritting his teeth. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's so all very intense. Pretty, yeah, heck so, of a craziness for going into next season. I mean, what the frick's gonna what's going? What's whoa, gonna whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, you're right, you're right. The sea, the sea beyond what the wall. What we need for is. Sure. Beach episode. Yes. Let's yeah. go. You've been asking for it. You've been demanding it. You've been crying in the streets for the Jeez, Attack on Titan go. beach episode. No one has been asking for it. <laughs> but we are blessed with it. They they play with some conch shells and yep. they're like, Oh, yeah. don't touch it, it might be poison. You know, oh this is all salt water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jean Jean Connie and uh and Sasha are having like a good old blast and Aaron's being his emo self, of course. Um, yeah, staring but off Armin got to the too. sea, man. Armin but got Armin, to the sea, and we're happy for him. The sea beyond the walls. Um, yeah, and Aaron's like, you know, that's the quote, man. That is How the many, fire quote of the, of the kill. entire season, man. Yeah, yeah, just thinking about the enemies beyond the horizon, basically. That yeah, he. Different. He entirely summates the idea of how how often the the scope of the show keeps changing is like, you know, fight Titans, fight the government, fight the entire world is like now what it is. It's like apparently everyone's against us. It's not like just a, a seeable, knowable enemy. 
or an unseeable yeah. no, unknowable enemy it's even like even more mysterious than that so it's like you know he says if we kill everyone over there will will we finally be free um and so mm-hmm. that's that's what we are left with as we yep saunter Leading on in, season in the season four, four. Mm-hmm. Yep. The first half soul, i'm assuming that this is going to be a balls to the wall season um mm. I First am. Half. I am forever plagued of looking at the Crunchyroll image and seeing <laughs> Aaron's Titan coming down on someone, and mm. he's got short blonde hair. And I thought oh. it was Erwin the entire time. Uh. I'd be Armin with a haircut, and now I'm wondering why the fuck would you know Aaron be trying to hit <laughs> Armin? You know what I mean? And I've never seen that uniform before. It's just a. a it mystery. might be a. It just might be someone from Wait, you know the, the island. The or whatever, but... Yeah, I was honestly thinking I about like what. About, but I have to see like the person standing. I was thinking about what you thought of that image when we were watching it this whole time because it's so like. It's it's don't... been stuck in my brain because it's yeah, so yeah. beautifully drawn. It's like such a terrifying image of. Aaron's yeah, Titan. it's fantastic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you don't know who it is. Yeah, there's and a uh, there's a bunch I've, of little I've, details in that in that picture as well that I haven't been pointing out to this point because I didn't want you to look too hard and get spoiled. But it it's yeah. like there's there's don't don't really I don't good, I don't, I don't, really good okay, I don't care. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I mean, we're starting season four tomorrow, so exactly. that's and that's I'll what I'm saying. Is like it exactly that's that's <laughs> that's why I said I'm not pointing them out. Um, <laughs> but I'm saying go go look now once you start it is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, you'll see so, yeah. you'll see it soon. You'll I don't know. You'll see I have a hunch that it. it's not Aaron or not uh, Armin. I think it's just one of the soldiers from where they're going to be attacking next. But I could be totally wrong. We shall see, man. I'm, could be. I'm ready. I'm we very don't ready. Find out. We certainly we are. White uniforms, man. I don't see Armin in white. So. Dang. <laughs> well, I think that's our conclusion of this season. What's our scores for this season three overall, first and second half together? Oh, together. Number eight. Yeah, I'd say so. If you yeah, want to, yeah, it's, a, it's a season three. It's together. It's a season. Yeah. Well, hello, hello. My man, go, my man goes sheesh, and then just stares at his, at his desk. It's because I'm trying to. Think. It's oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh sheesh! Oh, it's a freaking disaster. Oh yeah, it is a disaster. My arm, so I gotta hold it now. That is tough. Well, luckily we're at the end. Yeah. All right. Freaking, I, I, I'll go because I was thinking I was agonizing over the score for the longest, so I have it. Uh, it has some flaws in it, certainly, but much better than I remembered in the first half. The second half was amazing, as I remembered. I'll never forget freaking Irwin's last charge or any of that. Mm. It, it has its flaws, like I said. You know, people get away. There's some convoluted kind of stuff. There's, you know, a little bit of immersion breaking, you could say. So I was, but I, I can't. I got to give it a 10, honestly. Oh, yes, wow. Sir. <laughs> All right. God damn. Yes, sir. I think this is, this is one of the best seasons of television I've ever seen in my life. And it's. Wow. I'll never forget Woosh. it. I don't think it's, it's unreal. Like, it, it's stuff can, you know go past its flaws basically in my yeah. philosophy so I'm with yep you. yep cool. dope Fuck yeah bro i like hearing it mm-hmm. i'm we trying to think giving it. Mm. i'll give it another 10 i'm so good i'm so it turns out like andy <laughs> we'll see i would be very surprised if it's not a 10 <laughs> yeah. yeah it'd be it'd be weird if it wasn't yeah so what you feel well, here Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with an eight point five. Dang, okay. Yeah, I definitely think this, the second half is way stronger than the first half, but oh, yeah. that's not to the discredit of the first half. Hmm. There are some convoluted stuff, like David was saying. I think that's the only kind of stuff that really drags it down for me. But eight and a half is still phenomenal, still right. up there. Okay, okay. Cameron, you or me? I mean, we already kind of. Uh yeah, I mean it's 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 another ten for me just because you know it if the seasons keep on getting better and I keep on already having given the previous ones tens then what am I doing here? But that's whatever. Have you given this? Have you given every season just, a ten at this point? Yeah, it's just yeah, a, yeah. it's a fans yeah. ten. I I already explained this at the end of one of the yeah. episodes where it's just like I just don't give a frick. I, this, this show just like I'm always clicking next episode. I'm staying up mad late. Like it's just um the characters, the music. I've already said all this in the previous episodes. It's just it's 
a phenomenal show. Keeps me glued to the television. Jaw dropping moments. Gorgeous action. Gorgeous animation. Um, you know, I I also, like I said, have flaws with it and and stuff like that. But it's you know, I, the idea is like you don't give tens because then there can be nothing better than that. We've already surpassed that. But it's like, I can't imagine TV being better than this. So that's what yeah. I do. Juju, guys, <laughs> guys. Wow. <laughs> Dang, you're gonna have some heat. Um, He's yeah. joking, but also not. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, well. Dang. I mean, I, I watch our Juju, guys, and review to see what I gave that one. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give season three a nine though. It's an okay. incredible right. season. I I it lost me a lot in in certain points, and maybe that's just the fault of me not being able to keep up. Um, mm. not as bright as uh, a lot of people, honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the first <laughs> to true. admit that. <laughs> Come um, on. Well, in terms of like watching movies and and anime mm. and TV and kind of putting things together on the fly while I'm watching it, I'm not the best at that. Mm. But, uh second half just completely shows its ass like it's such a wonderful fucking uh piece of entertainment that i've been lucky enough to experience um it's super convoluted still like the the whole throwing information at you in the last couple uh episodes still trying to piece things together but it, it's like mm-hmm. one of those things where i want i i want to dig in like once i see season four i think i'll go into like articles that just kind of explain a whole lot of things so i can gain a better understanding of it it's mm. it's more of a fault on my end than the show i won't fault it too much i got you that's cool though, to explore it more yeah yeah i've been to it i i'm yeah. very excited for season four nice nice and i have to watch nice. 16 episodes in two days hey so good luck to me get hyped good luck but, arena. but i will i will say to this show's uh pro i guess you i would say it it made me hit seven episodes and granted i had to because i had 10 episodes to watch in two days but when i was watching them i didn't feel that like if you've Mm -hmm. seen any of our other anime boxes you know that i can't do more than three episodes at a time basically Mm -hmm. and for me to get through seven and still want to go like that that string of seven episodes when they start the the retake of uh wal maria oh my lord bro yeah you felt it, the anime it was... fans. Hi, brother. Yeah, no, it was. It was fucking awesome. It. I wish. I wish it. I was more into anime than I that I am now, where I can sit there and watch it. I'm. I'm a huge mm-hmm. fan of the medium. I just can't watch it too too long. But it's a different, God damn you know? it, it got me. It got me this time. That's an achievement, man. That's great. <laughs> of the season and for you, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but... I'm very happy about with the show. So that's dope i'm glad man yeah well thanks everyone for watching you already know man we'll be here for the next season of the half and then we'll be waiting for a freaking year but you know <laughs> i'm chilling i'm trying not to think about it so seven eight months it's not that bad we'll all i can there. yeah yeah all i can say is freaking shinzo sasage oh you fricks i'm saluting you to my freaking father my dad my daddy erwin smith we lit i'll remember you forever my king <laughs> my facts. king <laughs> big facts yeah been real you know it's been real everybody yeah yep facts we we on the come up season four we're gonna do it too that's just the way it is and we're gonna wait we're gonna wait for the next half of season four but then it's not even gonna feel like a lot because we're gonna have so m- much more anime content to delve into before yeah, we know it we're gonna be like Sheesh, she's a four tier. <laughs> you know yeah. what I know what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So I'm loving it. I'm here in the moment, you know, living in the present. That's how you have to do it. I love I love you all, my family. Nice. Absolutely. If you want to find us on socials, come start a conversation with us. Leave a YouTube comment. Leave a five star review on Apple Podcasts. Oh. Uh, and then the the social links that I should have said before I wanted to know all that is r slash unboxing life podcast and at unboxing life pod on Instagram and Twitter. So you know, come hit us up on there. Oop. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Anime Box. Uh, and I will say, be kind to each other and stay safe. Yeah, be excellent as always. Uh... Mm.
Uh, I, I wanted to get this out before I forgot. I, I was like really hesitant to watch this show because it, it I was afraid that it would put me in a, a more depressed mind state than I already was in. <laughs> um, mm. But like after I got through like the first half of season one, I haven't had too many uh, feelings of that, which is, has been pretty great, honestly. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Um, maybe I can, I've, I've conquered my fear of mm -hmm. depression from shows, but <laughs> it's on your shirt, bro. Prevail. I prevail, yeah. Exactly. Um, nice. That's good. Uh, the the show is cool. awesome. I'm, I'm glad we're covering it. And hey. It's definitely one for the ages to have under your, your anime belt. This is one mm. of those cornerstone animes. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll uh, we'll hit up season four for y'all, and we'll have that out next week. And that'll wrap it up for now, and we'll, we'll get some other uh, exciting animes for you guys. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Hope you guys tune in for that. Uh, if you want to catch us on Twitch, you can find Cameron at CB underscore LAZ3, and you can find me at Takara Trove, or Takara. Um, mm. Yeah. Say what's up. Show love to your boys. We put a lot of work into this, so it's 1230, and we're going to sign out. So peace the fuck out, baby. <laughs>